And even if you wanted to talk to people about that, that's fine. Even if you wanted to talk to, about sexual shit, that's fine. My issue is that he's already put the narrative out publicly that I'm sexually abusive to smaller female orbiters. One, and he puts it out privately as soon as he DMs somebody saying, hey, Steven has been abusive towards multiple people, especially women. Do you want to come forward too? Like he's already got the conclusion. He's not going to walk back from that no matter what. That like, that's a foregone conclusion. I already know that's going to be, because he can't, because if he walks back from that, he looks fucking horrible. He would never do it. Um, I so- I think he will. I think he, he will. Okay. I do you want to, would you want to put money on that? I'll put, fact, here's a secret fun fact. Do you know why Ethan Ralph was publishing shit, um, talking shit about me sexually? Do you know who she was leaking that to? Was she ever public about it? Laugh, who she was talking about the fact that we hooked up. No, I don't know. It was fucking big tech. What a what a crazy fucking twist there that she was sharing our fucking sexual exploits with fucking big tech of all people. The guy that spam reported and got Max's channel removed. Tonight I'm doing a uh, interrogation of Mr. Girl with some of the Mr. Girl community. Wild. And uh, I'm coming at it very seriously. Of course. And I want you, if you have any questions that you consider good faith, and I know that you're very freaked out by the whole situation, but I will ask them. I'm not freaked out, I'm chill now. I figured it out. I sorted my feelings. But um, so, yeah, what, what, what do you want me to ask? They're, you're his so fan, a right? lot of A lot of my questions are gonna revolve around nailing down <laughs> the ethical um, lines that he's not, he's, he's saying that he's trying to be like, do it in a very ethical way, but I, I don't think he's defined that nearly as much as he should, which I think is concerning. And he needs to do that. So I'm, a lot of my questions are going to be making distinctions between unethical and ethical practices and this type of thing and exactly where he stands and what should be done and what shouldn't be done and what he's willing to do and what he's not willing to do because he hasn't really gone there so far. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you have any questions? along those lines maybe or different lines or i don't really have any questions that... i feel like it's already kind of destroyed from my end but i mean like he's obviously gonna do his shit which is well, is there any concerns that you have that you that would be mitigated if he would answer a question about it no because the damage is already done i think there's two huge well there's probably three huge issues one is if you truly are a victim of something i don't know if you can also spearhead the investigation as well feels like it should probably be handed off to a third party because to be a, a victim and an investigator at the same time seems almost impossibly contradictory in terms of nature right you're going to be like super motivated to do fucking shit. um so that's the first issue the second issue is that before he's actually come to any concrete um, conclusions about anything he's already painted me as an as a sexual abuser essentially he's already said that like he's tweeted out that there are 20 women and blah, blah, blah that want to come forward, but they can't because there's a theme that everybody I talked to for Destiny, um, there's a there's a terror that they won't come out and say anything. So, and he's done all that before presenting any evidence. So he's given me like an impossible accusation to fight against because I don't know who these 20 women who are afraid to come forward and terror are. I can't even begin to respond to anything. Um, so that's two problems. A third problem is he's already begun privately reaching out to people implying that there are these 20 women. That's another huge problem. So he has reached out to people and he's just said, essentially, there's a bunch of people ready to come forward. We just need your story so that we're all brave enough to do it, essentially, is what he's telling people behind the scenes. I've had at least three people tell me that. I, I will ask him in that case, then uh, I think a good question to ask is, uh, is he being honest about that? Is is he really? No, but he's not um, going to say he's being, he doesn't have to, because here he's got the perfect out. He's going to say, yes, there are that many people, but they're not comfortable with me sharing their stories. The reality, and I know this from every girl that's talked to me about like his conversations with them, is he's built everything off the Anna story. Everything is. But he's pretending like he has like a wider pattern. He's saying that like, oh, girls are saying this and that, but it's not girls, it's just Anna. He built every single part of his narrative off of just Anna's story. And he's pretending that it's a pattern that he's already found and he just needs a few more girls to confirm. Well, I'm coming down on neither side here, but, uh, and, and you, that might be to your, dis you might hate me for that, but um, you understand how uh, you can't prove that and he can't prove it too. Yeah, but the problem is he's the one making the assertion. So like, what am I, like the, the onus isn't on me to do it. It's on him, right? He's the one coming out and saying essentially, he's, well, he's not essentially, he's already said that I'm abusive, that I'm an abuser, that there's a pattern of women that I've abused. Like he's already saying this, right? Yeah, the onus is on him. But he's saying that he's asserting that with no evidence, right? Maybe, uh, we well, don't well, wait, know I'm yet, sorry, let me, but... let me rephrase. He's asserting that with no evidence that he's made public, right? 
Yes. So let's say right now, what's probably going to happen. Wait, I don't know. I don't know to what extent he's exerted it yet. He's trying to avoid talking too much about the details. Well, of hold it. on. Do you need exact examples of either the emails he sent to people, the messages he sent to people, or the tweets that he's made, or the comments he's made on his stream? Because he said it in all four of those formats that I'm an abuser. Hey, Hafu, I'm coming forward as an emotional abuse victim of destiny. Some others are coming forward with me, and I'll be writing an article describing abusive patterns I and others have experienced, especially women. Would you be willing to talk? to me about this. I've been doing off the record voice chats in Discord, or we could just DM, but I find talking allows me to convey a lot more. I'd like to start out by just explaining my thoughts about it. Like he gets these people basically, and I've talked to a few people that he sends me, he gets him on these like two or three hour phone calls basically, where he's asking like every personal question that he can relating to like my community and me and like people I've dated and everything. It's just like, it's so fucking, it's so fucking weird. Um, it's so fucking strange. And the thing that annoys me too is that he's always like, he's always presenting these things as though there's all these women ready to come forward, but they're terrorized, right? Um, there's all these women coming forward, but like they're like living in terror. That is a troubling pattern with women. That's what he said. Yes, um, that, well, the only thing that I, I don't remember hearing, but I'm, I, if, if you show me and then I'll believe you, but the only thing I don't remember seeing was him saying that there were 20 women. Um, that's a message that's been conveyed to me privately multiple times. So there are 15 plus people that there are 20 plus people, um, that I, I, I would, I, I don't know the girls that are talking to him. I don't think they're recording his conversations with them, but that's the thing that girls keep telling me that he's saying to other women. I think he's lying to them when he talks to them privately saying that there's way more people than there actually are in order to get them to come forward or to feel pressured to come forward with more stuff. Right. Okay. So if, 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 if it's true. Um, that he doesn't, and in the end, he just- So real quick, I'm just reading, I'm quoting one of the girls that messaged me. Um, okay. She said, he claims that he has upwards of 20 accounts and he still considers Anna to be an ally. Um, but I, I won't read any more because I don't know what he knows about this person or who he knows is telling me they're talking to him or whatever. But yeah, yeah. so that's one person that's telling me that. And then I've had other people tell me on phone calls that he said the same thing, that he'll keep doing this. I also know for a fact that he's contacted people that nobody knows about publicly. And the only reason he knows about them is because I confided in him those people privately. But when he contacts those people privately, he lies and he says that there are hundreds of people talking about it. And that's how he was able to figure it out because there are tons of people, but, but that's a lie. That's not true at all. Like there, when people ask me to keep things secret, I generally keep them secret, right? Except for like a, a, a close handful of friends, Mr. Go being one of them. But he's going to these people privately and saying, yo, everybody's talking about this in order to like make them feel like I've betrayed them, you know, privately so that they're more likely to share stories with him. But that's just a lie. Um, I know that to be 100% true as well, but. But this this is private though. This isn't something that you can share. Share what? That you can share the evidence of that. Well, no, because then, then, I'd, then be then I'd be revealing, position. you can ask him, he's not gonna, he's not exactly, gonna deny that. Exactly, though, that, that, if that's true, then then you're both in the same, like from, from a complete outsider. And I, I, people are going, going to be more primed to trust one or the other of you too. But from a complete outsider who, like if you're not, Prime to trust either of you. Both of you have the same position of I have evidence that I'm not talking or I'm not. Wait, sharing but that's right not. Now. That's hold on. I happen to know that you raped five women, but all five of them are too scared to come forward. Like, how are both of us equally trustworthy there? Um, wait. Um, what do you mean? I know five women that you have raped. They contacted me and they told me this, but I can't reveal who it is. If you say I didn't rape anybody, are we both equally trustworthy there? No, the only the only comparison I'm making is that if you're saying if you're proving he said that, but but you can't share the evidence that proves it. What am I? How, but there's no possible way I can do that because I would have to reveal who the other person is. That's like, okay. That's okay. Or people That's okay. Are. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Sure. You can. You can. A, you can ask him if he's lied about it privately. I don't know if he'll admit to it or not. If it comes out to that, I guess I can start breaking that out. But then I'm going to be breaking other people's confidence to do so, and I don't really want to do that. But, that's fair. That's totally fair. Uh, but, well, but, but no, 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 no. It's not fair because now I'm like in an impossible spot where I have to like prove my innocence without being able to work with private information. Like, I'm fucked, right? If he's not lying, that's the position he's in. But I, I, I am, uh, I'm getting the sense that his investigation um, is going to be um, more just descriptions of uh, types of behavior that he considers abusive. Uh, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, and sure, and I, listen, in here, my issue is his framing, okay? If he wants to say that, like, Destiny is um, Destiny is inappropriate and he brings on smaller creators and he feels like um, that I don't provide enough protections for them or I throw them into too aggressive of a platform and that can f*** the other. That's fine. If he wanted to do, and even if he wanted to talk to people about that, that's fine. Even if he wanted to talk to, about sexual shit, that's fine. My issue is that he's already put the narrative out publicly that I'm sexually abusive to smaller female orbiters. 
one, and he puts it up privately as soon as he DMs somebody saying, hey, Steven has been abusive towards multiple people, especially women. Do you want to come forward too? Like he's already got the conclusion. He's not going to walk back from that no matter what. That Like that's a foregone conclusion. I already know that's going to be it because he can't because if he walks back from that, he looks fucking horrible. He would never do it. Um, I so I think he will. Okay. Think do you want, he, would you want to put money to. on that? I'll put 15 bucks on it. 15, well, I don't know if he, absolutely, I think he would, so, but you know what, I will put 15 bucks on Good. it. Good, okay, got it. Um. Yeah, to be clear, the, the model that he has in mind is that, like, I tell a girl that I'll fuck them, or I'll let a girl come on stream if I fuck them, I have sex with them, bring them on stream, and then I have my whole, um, my whole community will make fun of them, and I get off from that. That's like a sexual sadism I have, and then I kick them out of my community after I've gotten off from that. And then Mr. Girl says, yes. There's a general pattern of, one, bring on female orbiter, two, fuck her, three, trash her with the community, and four, discard her. I'd like to stop this from happening, but I can't really if she doesn't want to come forward. Oh, well, that didn't stop her from leaking DMs, eh? Right, I think that you're piecing together a lot of things from different places, because I don't think he said that specifically. Uh, I think that that came out from... Uh, I don't. I think it was like DMs of someone talking to Anna or something. I, so I'm, what I'm, he said was this exactly word for word quoted. Yes, okay. stop. There is a general pattern of colon one stop. Bring on female orbiter. Stop. Two fuck her. Stop. Three trash her with community. Stop. Four discard her. Stop. That's he. So he's ex said exactly that. Not, not, I'm not paraphrasing okay. or anything. These are exactly his words. Okay, I, I, in that case, then, I do hope that he can prove that because you're right. If he does, if he did make that, that statement, it is irresponsible if he, if he couldn't prove it at the time and he can't prove it going forward. Gotcha. I'm pretty um, sure he's tweeted literally that as well. But again, he's built that off of Anna and Lav's story, so that's probably enough for him to feel like it's a pattern because he has those two but people. But I, I still will take that bet because I, I do think that if he does not have evidence, I think he would be the type of person who would be willing to say I was absolutely irresponsible when I said that. I don't think so because he's already he feel, between Lav and Mr. Girl he, or between Lav and Anna he probably feels like he has enough. And then you have to contend with other things that he said. The blackmailing Lav thing is insane. It doesn't make sense in any world. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, an another thing that I'm going to uh, talk to talk to him. I'm going to mention this. Um, I think that. Uh, looking at it from both perspectives, he said that okay, he, his overall content goal mission, like he's he's got a very strong mission and that's empathy. And I brought up to him that the way he's conducting this is um, very divorced of trying to get into your mindset and understand the reasons for your actions. It's very divorced of empathy. And his response to that was because he feels very personally invested, he can't do that. And, and if he were to Put, put frame it within your uh, framework and your mindset. It would make it impossible for him to investigate the thing uh, that's made that's caused him to feel distressed. So what he said was afterwards he wants people to pick it apart and uh, take it like put it put it within your framework. And I think I think that there's there's a very uh, clear conversation to be made that's actually productive. Um, that 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 he's not the one. Ha you both, neither of you are having this conversation. Psst, hold on. I think it, don't I, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Real quick, don't say yes, that. Sir. These are conversations that I've had publicly and privately before Mr. Girl even knew what YouTube was. Okay, I have absolutely had these conversations. There is a reason why I've been sexually active with a ton of people, and I've never even remotely approached a complaint like this in my life. There's a reason wait, why even women that I've been sexually active with. He hate me, have never levied a complaint like this at me ever. And in terms of talking about how we deal with people in the community and abuse and like posting from the subreddit, we have these conversations constantly. It's cute that this is his first time ever being involved with any of this stuff. And now he thinks he's like some genie that has like some huge insight into this. But please, we've been having these conversations for a long time. I don't appreciate the framing that he's all of a sudden enabling us to have conversations about these types of things. It's not true. We And he is the last person in the world to ever be able to have good conversations around like consent or manipulation when when he's just, he does it all the time. So I reject that. that last part. I'm not convinced of the last part, but, but I do. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I'm sorry. Let me let you finish. Go ahead. Uh, I do I do understand where you're coming from. Um, 
So when I was saying that that conversation is not happening, what I meant, I didn't mean to say that you never have that conversation. What I meant to say was that it's not what's happening in regards to this. Neither of neither you or him in regards to this specific bullshit drama, whatever, uh, are talking, are having that conversation. And I think afterwards, I think that we can contextualize both your your understanding, your lived experience, because what I believe is that, and I may be wrong, this is not something I would bet on, but I believe that the way that this is going to boil down to is, is descriptions of behaviors or, or actions or scenarios that from his perspective look one way and from your perspective look another way. And I think from your perspective, you have, you've had a lot of experiences that have Wait, hold on. Um, okay, no, no, wait. Let's stop for a second. Hold on. Th I, you're I, you're going to do this and you're never going to stop, okay? I can tell because you're like an enlightened Mr. Girl fan where everything is fair and everything is equal and nothing is like right or wrong and everything can be whatever, okay? But that's just not true. There are not two ways to describe the way that I interact with people. And they're like, oh yeah, from one end, I could kind of see Steven being kind of like a sexual abuser rapist. Like, I, I think that's like a legitimate point of view. That's mind rotting. That's just bullshit. And I think people I like you- it's gonna come out like that. It is. I don't think it's gonna and come out like And you're running, that. you're running cover for it. Like, oh, well, there's probably multiple perspectives in which you give it. That's fine. There might be like different ways to have conversations about this, but Mr. Girl's the last person in the world that's even capable of having that conversation. Like he's just not, he can't do it. He doesn't know anything about consent or abuse dynamics or any, he doesn't have the background for it. And he clearly can't tangle with the topics in a responsible manner, right? Like. Real backing up real quick to something you said before. You didn't agree when I said that he was a manipulator. What do you say to him lying to Lav and Anna, pressuring both of them to make statements saying that I was about to nuke them when I'd never given any indication whatsoever that that was going to happen? Or when he talked to Doobie saying I was stepping up attacks on him when I hadn't been. I just re Sometimes I react to videos of him talking to Lav. I've never stepped up attacks until both of them started to get crazy in the background. Do you, we can watch that Twitter video together and you can tell me if, that's, if it feels like manipulation to you. Do you, do you want to do that? Um, no. Why not? Uh, no, no, no. Just, because it's just just to, conf to finish my, my 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 thought here. Okay, what I was trying to say um, was is just that I, I believe that you've a lot of the things that he he. I, this is why I believe is what's gonna be. A lot of the things that he sees as abusive because they've made him feel bad or affect him negatively or may affect other people negatively. I think that within the context of your history streaming and shit, that you've had a lot of. Um, up negative experiences that you protect yourself from and these we meet these methods of protection which are or from the context seem absolutely reasonable no you stop dude written, stop written shit about it you're you're you're, done. you're gone you're absolutely gone you're i i know what you're, i understand what you're doing but like you're trying to give like about this. no no you're giving like a rationale for why i might be an abuser that's what you're doing right now i'm not abusive i understand that i've had a lot of like adverse like situations in the past and now you're saying like oh no i understand why you're like an abuser creepy rapist kind of person like i understand no, it like no, rapist, I, hold on. Rapist, wait, wait, wait. okay i don't know how old you are i don't need your sympathy empathy your trying to figure out why i'm a creepy ra like deal with the claims themselves okay you you right. can say that i've had like a lot of negative interaction with people in the past that's fine but i haven't taken steps to increase my abuse of people that come on my stream. That just doesn't happen. That's insane. No, um, no, 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 no. The, the only steps would be to distance yourself from from uh, negative scenarios. That That's the only type Okay, but of you're saying that I'm, I'm do that about. that's manifesting in an abusive way. Well, no, 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 hold on. Like, when, I'm not saying that. And also you keep adding in that I'm, I'm saying that that would manifest in being a sexual abuser stuff. I don't see any evidence so far that you are a sexual abuser of, other than the fact that you have a lot of sex. Okay, um, but that's Mr. Girl's claim, and that's what he's already been public with. Right. Okay. Yeah. No. I, I'm. That's. I'm, I'm interrogating that. That type of thing. Um. I, but 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 all I'm saying is, uh, I, I from my, I don't, I don't know what he's got as far as evidence or whatever the fuck, and I don't know what his ethics are for getting such a thing, and I want to hammer that down, and I want him to be very clear about that. Um, but uh, I can understand uh, why someone might feel that way. Um, Why someone might so, feel what way? Just uh, like the whole dynamic of like what you're describing as just streaming like with all this attention and all this drama. You said that you have these conversations over and over and over again. Wait, um, wait, no, no, wait. Why somebody it, might feel what way? Um, they, as a response to the the limelight and your streaming and, and like getting popularity and shit and the community and the reddit and all that stuff people there, there are have been more than just him people that have come out of that and like not being okay with the whole thing hold on not being okay with the whole thing is different than abuse abuse implies I, I, some relationship of power where the other person like can't leave that's what abuse is right 
I understand. I understand. I understand. Well, okay, you understand, but the way that you're weaseling so, with words, it's like, and this is what I'm I think it's going to end up weasel. being, where it's like, oh, well, destiny's mean to some people. Start, yeah, of course I'm mean. Yeah, I'm an asshole. I've even made fun of people. There have been even times where my community has like harassed people, but that's different than this like captive, abusive relationship that he's describing, especially a sexual one with a proclivity towards targeting women. Right. I, I, I don't have much to say about the sexual thing because I don't see any evidence of it. And, and, I, and, and because I see no evidence of it, as of now, I don't think it's true. Until I do see evidence, I think it's it's not true. Um, Does any hold on? I want to I want to watch this video. Um, strongest argument. Okay. <clears throat> we're we're gonna we're gonna watch this video real quick, and you're gonna tell me okay. how you feel about it. Okay. Can I, am I watching it on your stream? Nope. I'm adding you as a friend. Once you accept it, we can watch it together. Okay. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, there you go, ready. got it. I'm unable to view this tweet because the uh, account owner limits who can view Open it in incognito. They probably blocked you. Okay. Uh, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Three. I'm watching it. Wait, no, no, don't watch. Let me, we'll start at the same okay. time. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Mr. Girl, I think Destiny's strongest argument against you is that you're manipulating people behind the scenes, not necessarily that you're merely investigating. I agree that the Anna sex thing is weird, but not that bad. So I think the manipulation of Anna and other women by you is what you should comment on. Okay. Um... I don't know what manipulation you're talking about. With Anna, I said, listen, uh, Lav just said that you've been sexting with Steven for a year. She has triggered a nuclear attack. Steven is about to attack us. And I need you to give me proof of that. I need you to give me proof. Because without proof, he can discredit us. But you, you, Anna, you are the weapon that Steven uses to discredit women. No one wants to be an Anna. If you take that away from him and say, actually, he's been lying about Anna this entire time. Then, then he can't do this anymore. It puts a stop to it. So I said, please give me a screenshot. I know this is scary. She said, can you do it without the screenshot? And I was like, I don't think so. I need the screenshot. We need to come forward. We need to do this right. We need to back up Lav, because Lav has made a claim, and now we need to give her evidence to back up that claim, or else she is going to get f***ing dogpiled, and I don't want to watch this happen to her. I don't want to watch it happen to you. I don't want to watch it happen to anybody. I want this to stop. So if that's manipulation, then sure. But I I don't think it is. Okay. Mr. Are you done watching that? Yes. Okay. Here is my, like, this is like a general life guiding principle that I have, okay? If somebody tells me a story, and in their version of the story, they sound kind of bad, then I know that they f***ed up really hard. His version of his story sounds horrible. Even... We're not even a little bad. When he's literally saying like, oh God, Destiny's attacking us. He claims that I use her as a weapon against other people when he's trying to wield her as a weapon against me. And then saying like, you're the only one that can stop him. We need to come forward. We have to do this right. We got to back up Lav. She made a claim without evidence. We need you to come through with the fucking pictures. How the fuck are you not putting an unimaginable amount of fucking stress and pressure on her who already doesn't like to have shit like leaked and made public and shit? How is that not textbook manipulation? And that's on his version of the story, by the way. We're ignoring her version, where she says she spent two or three hours on a phone call with Max and Shaylin both pressuring her to give a picture, and she finally broke down at the end. I don't even f her testimony. I don't even need her testimony. How is just not what he said right there alone insane? Well, so he he has a pattern of being extremely forthcoming with with every possible negative aspect you could claim about him. So, given that. You could also say that everything he ever says is like that. Isn't so that maybe, just part of the abuse? Isn't that part of the manipulation? Oh, I can't help it, but I'm just super honest. And if you don't do right. this, my life is over. Like what? That's possible. I, wouldn't, I don't know. Okay, just because you're super open and honest doesn't mean that you don't have any control over yourself, right? I'm an asshole. 
but I cannot be an asshole, right? If I'm meeting like a girl's parents or I'm meeting like new friends or friends of friends, I'm not gonna come out maximum debate bro mode, right? Now on stream, there might be people that don't like me because I'm really uh, abrasive and hyperbolic and that's fine. I'm like, oh yeah, I understand that. But I, it's not like I don't have any control over that. And you better believe that when I'm in a private situation with somebody, especially in a conversation as sensitive as this, I could turn it down. Are you saying that he's incapable of doing that? I don't know. And he also, he even told Anna that she was going to get dogpiled. I wasn't saying anything uh, on, on it, really. Uh, my well, I'm judgment... just saying that, like, this is manipulation. He's claiming that both her and f***ing Lavender's girl are all at risk from the horrible, evil f***ing dogpiling destiny. And that I'm about to nuke all of them unless they get personal, private information from her that he can use to attack me with. It's, this is like so cut and dried, but I but I understand that Max fans, it's impossible to get through to you, so. But like, Jesus, f dude. Well, so now he can literally, if your mind is here, like there's nothing that is gonna convince you otherwise. What else do you wanna talk well, about? I'm not, I'm not, what do you think I'm convinced of? That like, he's just asking questions, that, that this is just the way that Max is, and there's nothing he can do, and there's well, like good questions to ask, and it's all legitimate, and all of it is okay, and like, who knows? Like, maybe that's he's like a creepy rapist, maybe he's not, but like, it's all worth actually, like talking about, you actually, know? I, I'm not convinced of that. You're, you're telling me I am, but I'm not. Uh, I'm actually convinced of very little like I'm what I'm I have probably I don't know like 20 30 questions uh, re, uh, uh, try, uh, That I'm going to be asking him trying to make him hammer down what the what his f ethics are and what his uh, What what lines will he cross what lines won't he cross what behaviors would he condone? What can behaviors would he not condone regarding this type of investigation and reg and if 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 he's being honest, uh, and, to, and to answer those is going to put him, if he's being dishonest, is going to put him in a bad place if he answers those incorrectly and then it comes out later that he was wrong. And, and it will because he's going to be publishing his findings. I, it, you know what? If you want, ask me a question and I can already give you every single answer that he's going to give. You're not going to get any honest. Like, or this is the problem. Okay. This is the problem. He is going to be honest, but he's an NPD. This guy has a whole world constructed that self-justifies every action. Like, if you ask him, like, don't you feel bad about, like, publicly tweeting all of these things? His response is going to be, yeah, but Destiny forced my hand by going public with things. That when Destiny did that stream, he's attacking and shredding my credibility. The only possible way I could get people to talk to me is by also, like, attacking back. Otherwise, my whole investigation dies. Like, he's going to have a reason like this for every single thing he gives. That's And, and then you're going to, like, lap it all, like, oh, yeah, that's a good point. Oh, yeah, true. You do have to message girls and say he's abusive. Um, you know, you know I, what, what I think. Uh, one, one thing that I can't get over that I think it, uh, a lot of this boil. It's like, it's like when gangs like start fighting over sneakers. I think. I mean, not this is obviously a lot bigger than sneakers, but the 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 thing that started this is the fact that um, when Lav came forward about some stuff, then he's he needed to back her up, and he wasn't ready for that, and that put him in a. That was not a smart decision as far as his investigation is concerned, if he's trying to be like very by the book and very um, ethical and credible, that, that act now has started a, tr a chain reaction of bullshit. Yeah, but all he had to, that's his fault, right? I know. <laughs> but, but no, 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 not like a, in a, like he hitched his trailer well, to Lav. So if she, he retweeted her Patreon post where she accused Hassan Piker of a 17 year old and she's still repeating that claim in the background by the way sometimes i'll be talking and a lie just and i'm like girl did you really just we didn't mean that that's not real sis you're crazy though bemoid jew is evil this is from like some in dude's discord server. Uh -oh. I think it sounds outrage against everything is really funny because he slept with my friend when she was like 17 and he was 24. Yeah, I'm not dropping it. Believe me or don't. She's never coming forward, so I'm not either. Uh oh. Then why would you, first of all, you just <laughs> lied there. That first statement is a lie. Also, why did you say this? Uh, you can't do that. That is like not in the uh, rules, okay? You're just a bad person, okay? You just lied and then you <laughs> followed up and said, I'm not coming forward with it. She's not either. If I would, I could believe me. NDA, also a lie. Also a lie. I literally asked her. I was like, was there an NDA involved? Like, what the f is this? Like, you know, are you, are you f serving NDAs to your friends? She's like, no. This person is literally using, making up false allegations about someone that we both mutually have known for many, many years. Okay. This is the most insane part of the story.
we both know the person that she's talking about for so many years and she's just lying about a whole bunch of shit knowing thinking that neither of us will come out and say anything about it what about this nda you signed i've never signed an nda i would never sign an nda you can burn me at the stake i don't know what the context of that message was but it was you clearly said you signed an nda lav loon i would if i could believe me nda wait she signed an nda i did <laughs> I must have said it to something else because I literally didn't, LOL. Right? She's the one that connected Anna to Max. She's the one that told Max, oh yeah, Steven and I had an illicit sexual relationship. She said those things. So now she's tweeting like, oh, I have nothing to do with it. And now Max might want to try to distance her himself from her now, now that she's literally fucking Chernobyl level, ground zero levels of radioactivity. But together, they were fucking, you know, two peas in a pod, three peas in a pod, really, with his creepy fucking, uh, you know, zombied out girlfriend that he's abused for however many years right like all of them are together it's not fair to separate them now right and this idea like well he had to defend lab that's his fault then i don't, I don't think I'm, I'm not actually not separating them like no yeah he he made a promise that he would be there for her and protect her and he did that to his fucking massive detriment and to but, anna's detriment and to mine but, but yes uh and and i and i cannot get over that but he did it out of principle and out of and, what and principle that, he said he was going to protect Lav, and he did. I would protect my son, but if he fucking rapes a girl, I'm not going to sit there and help him hide the fucking body. What do you mean? That's not principled. That's just being a selfish manipulator fucking loser. I'm going to defend my my little, like, mind friend that I've, like, you know, manipulated to the next dimension at, because of because of what? That's not, that's not a principled stance. What are you talking about? I'm not convinced that you are a sexual predator or manipulator or, or abuser. No, but I'm, I'm just saying that, like, him defending I'm Lav is not, like, that's not a principled position. Like, she fucked up. She deserves the consequences of fucking up, right? Protecting your friends right. from negative consequences is the opposite of being a good friend or compassionate. I bet Mr. Girl said this in a fucking video somewhere, because it's the most level zero take ever, obviously. No, actually, he didn't say that. I think it, it, he, he, I don't think he wants to say this, because I think it would, um, it would diminish the, the impact of him actually doing that to protect her. I think he doesn't want to talk about that very, very much. I think he mentioned it once in like, um, in like his discord or something. Okay. Well, anything else? Okay. Uh, so just, just to be clear, I, I am not convinced that you are an abuser or a sexual predator. I don't care that you're not, not convinced. I what not, I don't I know, like I is that it's like a two sides, like, oh, you know, there's a lot of stuff to valuable, blah, 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 blah. That's the irritating part of me. But, you know, listen, I understand, you know. I, 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 I do understand that. Mm -hmm. um, what, do you, what do you want me to do then? Just believe you? Like, you, no, you don't, have to, you don't have to believe me. You should say, hey, if you've got evidence, you probably should have presented that alongside these weird public right. accusations. Or if you're going to make these private accusations, you probably need to present evidence privately as well. You can't just go to people and message them. It's like, hey, what's up, Smith's uh, girlfriend or wife or mom? Um, so I was abused by him. A lot of other people were abused by him, especially women. Do you want to come on the record and say anything? That's a fucked up thing to say if you have no evidence that you're willing to present. Like that's an ins do you agree that that's an insane thing to say to somebody privately without any evidence that you're willing to present to anybody? You're not going to like my answer, but you know you know how I feel. I'm I'm confused. About what? I'm emotionally confused. I don't know how I I cannot tell how fucked up that is or not fucked up. Like I don't know what I would do if if I if I was him and I believed what he claims to believe, then I don't know what I would do. And if, and if I were you, I would do exactly what you're doing. So, so you, there's no right or wrong in your world. It's just people do uh, as no, no, people no, no, do. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I, I like, I like. I'm clearly trying to seek out who's right and who's wrong, uh, and and I don't. And I'm not coming at it like I'm expecting you to be wrong or him to be right or either or. Um, uh, but I, I, I just am emotionally confused. I, I don't understand what's. I don't know to, what's confusing. I'm trying to figure it out. What part is confusing to you? If you're gonna it, take, if you're gonna make a, an extreme claim against somebody, you should probably have some evidence to back that claim up that you're willing to present. You can't do presentations of private of of of, of when you're not gonna give any evidence okay. of it. Here's the matter of fact. Okay, I I have not seen like I know you and him probably know probably you more than him know a lot more than I do about all of this, um and and, and I I don't know any of that. Um, and so, so I'm not willing to just assume either way. 
uh, so so I'm just confused. I, I, like, you, you, um, you, you, you keep saying I don't want to go either way, like it's both the same. One guy is making public and private accusations that I'm a sexual abuser, and I am just sitting here getting those accusations with no evidence presented. And you're like, well, you know, I'm confused. It could be either way. Like, it's a clear right or wrong. There's an like obvious yes or no. I, well, yeah, yeah, well, that then then you're, you're even if I'm even if I'm you're guilty. Where I am. No, no, even if I'm guilty, what he's still doing is wrong because he shouldn't be making these accusations right. without evidence, right? Well, well, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to make him hammer down the ethics, and I'm very prepared to be dissatisfied. And, and, and if he doesn't answer those those questions about the ethics regarding how he's conducting himself within this this, this investigation, what is right and what is wrong, uh, comparing and contrasting to other examples that are absolutely sure. in the wrong. And, and, and so if he doesn't satisfy those, I'm going to be like heartbroken about it, and I'm not going to trust not, him anymore. Like The problem is what I told you at the beginning of this conversation. He's already ruined it. He, like, he couldn't, here, here's the truly f part, okay? And I hope him, him and Lav quote this on me because Lav was running around doing this. He joked on stream about being a sociopath, so I know he is. She quoted me. It's so funny. She qu Oh, she quoted me saying, like, I think I made a joke. It's like, if you really want to rape a girl, all you have to do is make her feel really, really, really safe and she'll f you every time. And then she quoted that in some crybaby bullshit stream where she's like, I think that, I think that Steven did that to me. He manipulated me by making me feel safe and comfortable. And that was part of his game. Like, are you retarded actually but here's the let me tell you the real issue right now with mr girl shit okay are you ready this is the problem if i actually did rape two or three or four women and he came forward with that evidence and i was the horrible person he said you know what i would say is you can't trust those women because one if, if i had raped them why didn't it come out until now and two he probably just manipulated them in conversations like he did with anna yeah maybe he'll release logs or videos but i bet he cut him he cut some of it out and three why would you believe his accusations anyway he's already hitched his shit onto lav who lied about hassan so even if I did actually rape people, he is the worst person to investigate it because he's already shown that he's a manipulator because of his conversation that he leaked with Anna. And he's already shown that he's okay backing up lies, which he's done with Lav. So he's really only hurting the raped women that would be coming forward otherwise because his credibility is so f***ing destroyed that even if I did it, I would just deny it and I'd point to evidence of him lying and manipulating people and I would get away scot-free. And then those women would never be hurt if there were actually abuse victims out there. Like, do you, do you understand how f like his whole situation is? He's destroyed all of his credibility. In a lot of ways, I, I do agree, um, but not not a hundred percent. I don't okay. think he's complete. I, 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 the best part is that he knows all of this too because he's not to stupid. So if I do deny anything, he's going to say, "Oh, he's just playing the game that I knew." Blah blah blah. Because there's always in Max's world, there's always a way to have it set out. Do you believe? Do you need me to be a hundred percent? Like I don't. I, like I, I really am not trying to like come at this from a biased perspective. Right? I understand, but it, your perceived unbiasedness is a commitment to mental retardation. That's my issue, right? <laughs> it's not It's not like a, they're both sides and they both make legitimate points. Even if I was a rapist, his approach has been wrong and fucked. Even if I was, because you can't make public or private accusations with somebody if you're not willing to share the evidence. That's just, there is no escaping that. You just hey, can't okay do then. that. Okay then, well then, when, wouldn't you want to, because you, I, I would assume that you're not a rapist, so I, I wouldn't you want to be like, bro, um, like, continue what you're doing, but you need to you need to follow some fucking rules for how you're doing this so that you don't like, like drag me through the dirt un unreasonably. You know, he like, can't you, take has to he be can't he can't take my word for it though. If he truly thinks that I'm a rapist abuser, why the fuck would he listen to anything that I have to say? That's and I'm that I'm I'm go I'm going to ask him those questions. I need to, him to set some ground rules for for exactly what he thinks is ethical and unethical and how to conduct himself. Okay. Well, good luck. He's not going to do anything. He's going to continue right on through the same way that he is. He'll message people with a highly loaded messages. Um, I've already got. I'm keeping a track of the list now. I've already got 30 different people that have reached out to me and told me that they he contacted them and they were creeped out or whatever. Um, who knows how many the list actually is? Some of these people are people that I've known for almost a decade. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's many more that he's reached out to that I don't even know. But yeah, I mean, I'm sure it'll be, I'm sure it'll be a like fruitful. Like I said, if if he doesn't satisfy those those questions, then I'm definitely going to be uh, disappointed, uh, extremely disappointed. So we'll see. Okay. Well. All right. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Have fun. I love you, buddy. Be careful. Okay. Bye. Wait. What? I'm sorry. Hold on. I don't love you. I actually hate you. You. You're a fucking you max sycophant. Yeah, we'll see how you, you act afterwards. Me? But right now, on a scale from one to one hundred, my opinion of you, if fifty was neutral, is at like seven percent. Okay, you're pretty low on the scale. Okay. 
just because uh, I'm because you're both side no because you're both I, sides I and you're confused about something that's so I, obviously okay. fucked. I have I have he I have trust for him and I'm prepared to, to to lose that trust, but I do have trust for him, and I'm I, and that's just where I am at. Okay, do you and, and think I do have, and I have trust for you too? Do you think that even I, first of all, hold on, I'm not asking you to trust me at all. Just look at okay. my record, look at like the facts that are out there. You don't have to trust me at all. That's fine. Nothing well, he's that not I asking me to. What? Well, I'm just saying he's nothing not, that I've said right now requires you to trust me. I, I haven't done anything unethical saying, right. well, don't trust me. It's all going to turn out okay at the end, right? Well, actually, no. You said that you, you had private information that you weren't going to get forward because it would put people in a compromised position, but you said that I should uh, oh, just okay. take your word for it. You know what? That, that, is, is, that is one thing. You can ask him about that directly, and we'll see what his answer is. I'm curious. What is the question I should ask? Ask if him, you, have, you ask lied, have you lied to people privately in order to get them to talk to you? Or have you misrepresented facts privately in order to get them to talk to you? All right. Because I know for a fact for at least two people that the answer to that is absolutely and resoundingly yes. And I probably can get one of them to go on the record. Um, that's one question. Then the second question is going to be how, or I'm asking you this now, how the fuck in your mind have you made sense of the I blackmailed lab story? I don't make much sense of it. Uh, I don't really know what happened. Jones, I'm about to drop a Hassan nuke. Uh oh. Whoa. No! Damn it, stop. To me. Damn it. Stop damn it. Damn damn it to me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Lab, you're going to end your whole fucking career on this I shit. Know. Don't do it. I not know. in a good way. Literally, it's not worth it. I know. So but every stop. time his name is brought up, I'm like vibrating. Stop. No, wait, you shouldn't not. be. Oh, wait. Stop. Yeah. I've, Wait, I've, do you not like know, Hassan? Just know Hassan is well known in Los Angeles. No. Okay, hold Yo, on. Chill. Let's chill. And she deleted it. The original post, the original post here literally had stated that I was, uh, uh, she was 17. She changed it. She edited it. Lastly, he brought up the secret I told him out of nowhere. So out of place in the conversation. The secret I told him when he told me his secret. Told me it would ruin me, how bad I'd look. He'd worked it in. I'm not going to be blackmailed. Hassan Piker slid with my very young friend when he was not so young. It was legal. But he's denounced men publicly for doing much less. What the f*** are you talking about? <laughs> what is she talking about? I don't know. She literally f***ing edited that, by the way. Literally he, originally, editing. Originally, she had claimed on that post that it was that, that she was 17 and now she just deleted it and 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 i guess changed it it was legal when he was not so young it was legal but he's denounced my public for doing much less. I don't care about it, and she's never gonna come forward, but the fact it is nonetheless. An example of hypocrisy. Another person's hypocrisy is gold to a streamer, a shiny weapon. I was armed. Nothing will come of it. Ethically, it is a small infraction, and it won't be held over my head. Okay, you know that Lav parrots that story, Mr. Girl parrots that story, and his zombie psycho abuse victim, Shaylin, also parrots that story. All three of them are on the same page with that that I blackmailed Lav with a secret that she told me that wasn't about her, that wasn't even true, that she had already leaked multiple times in other public Discord servers, that was already circulating so much in the background that both Trainwrecks and John Zerker came to me independently and asked me if it was true. Yeah, I, the thing that I thought immediately when I heard that was um, if she was giving, so the scenario that she laid out was um, you were trading secrets so that you would have some mutual assert, sure destruction type uh, a aspect in your relationship. Sure. By the way, it was a real um, quick thing. That's a total f***ing lie, by the way. I okay. volunteered information okay, yeah. to her because I was being a friend with her and I wanted to chat with her and stuff. And she volunteered information to me because of whatever f***ing reason. But I don't think we were like, I, I don't think even it was like you, a, yeah. Even if you, I, I have done that with friends that I'm close with before. It's like, you know. Um, it's it's that's not that's not necessarily an abusive thing to do, um, or or at least I've I've uh, admitted with my friends you know a mutually assured destruction if you you know that's where we're at you know, um, but um, the thing that uh, that confused me was if if that was the case then her giving you 
like uh, information that she knows about someone else. Like it would have to be about her for it to make sense. Sure, it would. And she lies a lot about a lot of things. She just she lies compulsively. Like so, I I like she says that we ha I had an hour long conversation after everything like broke down on that one day, and she says I tried to gaslight her the entire time. With the, and she was begging Max to come in and talk the whole time that, that where she writes, Max left with his dignity still in check or whatever. All that happened was at the very end, first of all, Max wouldn't join until I started spamming chat saying, Quig, she's self-harming or whatever. Then he joined and then he wouldn't say anything for 10 minutes. He sat there in silence because when there wasn't an audience and when I was there, he didn't have anything to say to me. And all he told Lav was, Lav, I don't think this is a good idea. We need to stop talking about this. Lav, this isn't worth it. Lav, let's talk well, later. That's he thinks that you're abusive. <laughs> well, so, but he doesn't want to say anything with Lav there in front of me, or to me in front of Lav. Wouldn't that be a good time to stick up for Lav, or wouldn't that be a good time to show my abuser tactics, right? Wouldn't that I wouldn't guess, that be but... the time in a one-on-one -on -one, like with Lav listening? But he didn't have shit to say to me when when, it, when there wasn't an audience there for him to twist around his finger, and when there wasn't well, just the, Lav there for him to twist around his finger, like the time that would to show your abusive tactics. Wouldn't that be if there was an audience? Because if there's no audience, then it's just being... Well, abused. I would imagine. Doesn't he care what Lav thinks? Or maybe he doesn't. See, the, the answer is that he knows that he can't really do, like, the weird manipulative shit when I'm there to call it out. So he won't say anything to Lav when I'm there. He has to talk to her privately so he can mind fuck her in, in the recluse of his own Discord room. I, I, I mean... That's, do you know... Oh, here's a, here's a random fun fact. Here's a secret fun fact. Do you know why Ethan Ralph was publishing shit, um, talking shit about me sexually? Uh, why? Do you know who she was leaking that to? Was she ever public about it? Who? Lav. Who she was talking about the fact that we hooked up. No, I don't know. It was f***ing big tech. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like it is gone. That's okay, okay, way to go. Way to go, buddy. Yo, let's get some more reporting, please. Oh. <clears throat> let's keep reporting. Keep reporting. Uh, here's a clue. Dude. We got big tech and who's this guy up here? Is that the Veda guy? How will they like? Yeah, a lot yeah, of no, it's still up there, but it's on a different channel. Polly Anon. People that have been completely f***ing erased from the internet. Who <laughs> are pro deplatforming. Very good, very good. Yo, I'm oh, for it. Report them. Report these freaks. Report our enemies. Report every video from our enemy. Report Jaden. Report RPG. Report BPF. Uh, report Daka Daka. F*** them. Report, 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 spam, spam, spam. I've done it a couple few times. It's kind of boring. I stopped doing it. I should just get back on it. I should be reporting every one of their videos. We all should. Maybe we'll just do that once a week. We'll just go do mass reportings. Hell yeah. Um, Maybe we'll just uh, do that once a week. We'll just do mass reporting. Uh, we should. It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. It's what God would have wanted, hey? What a, what a, what a crazy twist there that she was sharing our fucking sexual exploits with fucking big tech of all people the guy that spam reported and got max's channel fucking removed like i don't know like that that whole oh, family that of people uh, yeah are fucking insane i don't i think that um lav might agree that she's not you know she's not doing well i don't care lovely. no I don't care if you're not doing well. That doesn't give you an excuse to be a psychotic, manipulative, abusive, lying, fucking subhuman piece of shit, which is exactly what she is. That's how she's conducted herself across multiple platforms, and she does it to this day. I'm pretty sure she's made brain dead tweets even today. You can be dis you can be affected negatively by things, and you can be having a rough time, but that doesn't give you a carte blanche to go out and make serial accusations against people, which she has a history of doing or lying or making shit up on the internet or being a general subhuman piece of shit in general that's not a that's not a pass for that oh you're, you're absolutely right it's not a pass so um, why would you even say oh she's been going through a tough time i just i just think that she can just be taken out of the whole conversation but she can't because max hitched himself to her max retweeted her patreon post do you understand he wants to separate himself now because she's radioactive, but he shouldn't be allowed to do that. Remember, these are the, these three people, really, well, two, really, it's Max and Lav, are the ones that got this whole ball rolling. Lav reached out to Anna, Lav connected Anna to Max, and then Max, Shaylin, and Anna had a three-hour call. None of this shit happens if, if Max wasn't sitting there trying to mind 
Lav, and if Lav wasn't hopelessly f***ing obsessed with Max, right? None of this happens without all of that, without those two players being in place. So, yeah, I understand that's the, the train of events that led us here, but at this point, like, can't we just, uh, like, I mean, I, I'll, I'll accept if you disagree with me, but can't we just uh, just let Lav just go on her way? And leave her alone. Like, cause she, she, if she's not investigating or anything, she's a part of it. If she doesn't say anything else, then just like, okay, just, just stop talking about it. If you know Lav's I mean? attacks like, would have been effective on me, though, we wouldn't be saying that. If Lav's attacks were effective on me, you'd be saying, well, don't you think it hurts your case that there were literally two people making these accusations now? Doesn't it hurt well, your right. case that Lav used to be your friend, but now she sided with Mr. Girl? Doesn't it hurt your case that like Lav, Mr. Girl, and Anna were all able to agree on a narrative about you? Like, don't you think that points negatively in your direction, Destiny? That's exactly what you would be saying to me. But because Lav was a brain dead dipshit and nuked herself from orbit, now we need to leave Lav to the side? I mean, I guess we can, but it's bullshit that like he basically has a weapon. He it was Anna. Then it was Lav, and as soon as the swords go dull, he drops them into the dirt and walks away. And now we're just supposed to pretend he was never holding them. But like, that's not historically how it happened. That's insane. Well, yeah, but but that is true though. If if he is like dropping those weapons, as you like that, then that means that those weapons are no longer in play. He's gotten. He doesn't have Lav. He doesn't have Anna. If that's if you're what you're saying is true, so. Uh, then yeah, he, but it's then like it, me it, beating it, him with my bare hands, and he's like, "This isn't fair. I didn't even have a sword." And it's like, "What the f are you talking about? You had two. Like, I, it's well, it's just it, it's it's insane to me that he can like separate himself from these people so easily and quickly, while one hundred percent carrying water for them the entire time. And, and but now that they f themselves, and now that Anna has completely turned on him publicly and privately, and now that Lav has completely nuked her credibility, now he's like, oh, "Okay, well, ignore those two. Ignoring that that's where everything came from. He built everything off of those two people." I'm not going to ignore that's where it came from, but, okay. but I'm saying like, if, if, but you've 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 removed those from from play. You've you you've uh, you've defused those weapons, if that's true. Like so, to sure. your credit, like here, this is my guess. Okay, his final write up about me, over fifty percent of it is going to be built off of and talks about my relationship with Anna and Lav, over fifty percent. And just, just to be clear with where we're at from all of this, okay? So Lav is somebody that, despite her claims of me being sexually weird, has explicitly said everything we did was consensual, and I even checked in on her to make sure it was okay. No, we didn't have like any active sexual shit going on in the background at all. Like, it was just really weird. She just completely invented that fictitiously in her head. That's why every time I pushed her privately and publicly, she's like, oh no, it was 100% consensual. Oh no, nothing weird was happening. Oh no, blah, 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 blah. The, 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 the sexual instance that me and Steven has had was completely consensual. It was pleasant. And I made it clear that nothing we ever did sexually would have anything to do with the stream stuff. And when we did hook up, I didn't even hit on her for like months afterwards, that everything was like chill and cool and there was never anything weird. So so it's it's hard for me. So I my experience with Steven is that we had like a sexual relationship and then it became like very much like sort of like a platonic friendship. Like the sexual dynamic did not continue into like now. Lav admitted that. Anna has publicly and privately retracted almost everything. She said that Max manipulated her to give a message that she didn't agree with, that she doesn't have any current complaints with me. All of her complaints were about content that was already out there and things that I'd said in the past in reference to her. And then there's Max, who is a male that I've never had any sexual contact with ever. So these are the three people that are the origination of my sexual abuse. That's just, and you will come out here and say, well, it's confusing on all ends. That's just wild no, to that's me. Not what I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I, I'm just saying I don't. It's, it, the reason it's confusing is because, like, like I'm like I'm saying, clearly you, because you're you, you have way more information than me, and like, there's shit you can't just fucking say. And there's and he. I can can't say just almost say everything. I just can't come out about that one piece of private information. But otherwise, I can say everything. What, what do you want to know? What do you? What questions do you have for me? Because I can answer every question ever. I just don't want to reveal any private person's information. Okay. Until until I see what what quote unquote evidence he has or does not have, then I can't then I can't just just hear what you say and just assume that he's wrong about everything. And until, until I see if he actually because because once once he puts forward his evidence or what like whatever the hell he has to say, then it can be like you can you can take um, I can take your uh, testimony and I can compare it and I can discredit um, any any facts or any things that he says. I can say no, this was this has got through illegitimate means this this doesn't make sense um, but you can't do that until it comes out so uh, so as it is right now i'm just emotionally confused because for, for, I, I completely empathize and understand where you're coming from and uh, i i'm trying i'm trying to like understand so when you're saying like I'm, I'm i'm trying to like have it both ways i'm just trying to under if he if he believes that you're abusive I mean, my mind is trying to wrap it myself around okay what what exactly like could he 
be seeing that that causes him to have that feeling okay um so but that that doesn't mean that you are abusive necess- like you know it, i'm just trying to understand like i'm trying to put my mind into both people's perspective and trying to and i and i can't do it with both sides i can't do it with him because uh he hasn't released this information and i can't do it with you because until i see his information maybe you're like like if 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 his information like actually actually proves something f-ed up then that then that would mean he's right that you're controlling the narrative or something which okay. I'm not that's, con- to be clear also which- that's another pointless statement i think he stole that one from lav controlling the narrative yeah no shit i'm controlling the narrative i'm going to talk about myself in a way that i see myself but that's he, he wants to control the narrative i want like we all want to control the narrative of course every time we enter right. information into the public testimony about anything we're controlling the narrative do but- you understand that i'm trying to come at this in good faith yeah, do you think I'm, I, I'm like, I mean, I think you are. Just I think that your openness is a little bit too open because, like, he's even if, like I said, even if I am a rapist certified and he has evidence of it, he still handled it in a way that is just horrible. That like it would almost be better if he, <laughs> um, I guess I can say it at this point because he's. He, I don't think you take advice. If he really wanted to do this, if he was smart and he wasn't a narcissistic dipshit. If he really wanted to fuck me over at the start, what he should have done is he should have reached out to a third party and he should have handed all of the information that he had over to them and then that, that let them do the expose. That would have been his best of, way to do it. A lot it. of people have said that. Yep, he should have. have because that. if he did it at that point, let's say that Chud Logic was the one to present everything. Well, now, even if it was just the Anna sexting stuff, it puts me in a lot weirder of a position for it's like, okay, well, why does this person have private information about me? Why are they going public with it? Was it because somebody thought something actually did go wrong? Was it because somebody like did feel abused? Like, I don't, like there's like so many more things that I would have to contend with. And there are so much more credibility on Chud Logic than Mr. Girl. But the fact that he's done it means that even if I did rape somebody, I'm going to get away with it because of who he is. There are some people, um, I've had conversations with some people who think that even if Dr. K did do something wrong, he's never going to get caught on it now because the figurehead of the anti-Dr. K movement is Mr. Girl. Even if, even if, even if two more people kill themselves, if you want to be anti-Dr. K, they're just going to compare you to Mr. Girl. That's going to be the gold standard for, oh, well, that's what, it, that's the kind of person you are to criticize Dr. K. So it's like... But I mean, but uh, I mean, there's all just random complaints. Mike, go ahead. Sorry. You're you're not gonna. The the thing is that um, I, I want to ask you. Would yeah. you, would you, would you be dissatisfied? Okay, so assume that I'm just a lot of people in your audience, and they're just like me, and that's not true. Um, but like, so that that that's who you're talking to right now. Like, would you be satisfied if I come out of this not hating him, but not believing him? No, <laughs> no, that's because I, I, I just don't you not hate, hate him after he literally was almost crying after. And by the way, I thought it was legitimate for him to be upset. And after Lab was like, "You need to be a better friend," because fucking Cherry and Stardust were saying that he showed his pubes on stream, and they were acting like that was going to be the end of Mr. Girl's whole career. For him to go through all of that and then turn around and do this to me—that's a million times more psychotic. After being on stream with you so many times, being like, "Steven, I would never backstab you." You can trust me. I'll never do anything ever. Me- like, yeah, it, for you to be like, oh, no, I think he's like an okay dude. After all of that would be I, wild to me. It would just be no, the most wild thing in the world. You might be right. That's what I'm trying to answer tonight. I need to define, I need him to like extremely eloquently define his ethical boundaries here and and also uh, address missteps because he's made missteps like you've, you've pointed out. He's going to blame all of them on me. He's going to say, destiny pressured us. He was trying to... Ca- Here, write these down. Here, hold on. Let's okay. write, write these down. Okay. So he's going to say, okay. one, destiny went public with the accusations first and an attempt to get ahead of them. Okay. Which forced me to do some revealing. That's going to be the first thing he's going to say. Um, the second thing he's going to say is, destiny is attempting to smear slash character assassinate me publicly. And then the third thing he's going to say is, I have to be, I have to be honest <clears throat> that other people are out there and willing to come forward. Otherwise, victims will be too scared slash terrified <clears throat> to admit anything to me, even in private. 
Those are gonna be his three excuses and you're gonna hear them and you're gonna lop them up. You're gonna be like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, if Destiny went public, you probably do need to go public, otherwise it destroys your credibility. Yeah, Destiny is character assessing. He called you a rapist and he didn't call you a rapist before. He is trying to character assassinate you. Um, and um, and yeah, people aren't gonna well, come forward unless you tell them that there's like a, a that there are other people willing to come forward because they're gonna be really terrified. They don't wanna be the only accuser. These are gonna be the things he says and you're gonna you're gonna lap all of it up. You're gonna be like, yeah. I'm not gonna just lap it up. Okay, look, what was the last point you just said? Um, that like people are gonna be too scared to talk to Max unless they think there are other victims willing to come forward. That's why he has to lie to them and say there oh. are 15, 20 other girls. That, um, if, if, he, if he did lie about that, like that, that w I would not lap that up. Like, like no, I, I absolutely How are you not. gonna know I if he's not. ever lied about it though? What if he says at the end, I didn't get enough people willing to come forward, so now they have to stay private. What would you say then? Um, so yeah, but that means he wouldn't have had 20 people. You don't know that, he might did. Maybe he does have 20 people. Maybe they're not willing to come forward because they're too scared, they're terrified of me. Then what are you gonna say? Well, in that case, uh, this is something about me. I, 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 if he says that, then I cannot trust him 100%. Why? What would he be doing so, that's a lie? He was abused, Anna was abused, and Laura no, no. was abused. He reached out to other girls, found they were abused. I can't know if it's a lie or not. So it's just, it, that. that's why, like, when I said before, like, it's a confusing position. Now, um, to your credit, if, if someone were to put someone in a, quote unquote, like I said, confusing position like that on purpose, that would be abusive or manipulative. Um, I'm not convinced that that is also either the case. I just... Uh, I'm willing to to stand in a position of doubt and, and not hate somebody personally. Okay, what could he do anything to me? Like, yes, yes, yes. If um, I hated so, him, so tonight, would you understand? Tonight, if, would you understand if I hated him? Oh, absolutely. Would you understand <laughs> if every yes. single person yes. in my audience hated him? Um, especially if they uh, didn't think I was really a rapist. Care about you? Yeah. Um. Well, I don't think you're a rapist. Or, I'm sorry, a sexual abuser that has a troubling pattern with abusing women on my stream. How to rapist, Yeah, but it, depend, it depends how he defines that. And it, oh, yeah, it is going to depend how he defines it. It does depend sure. how he defines that. Because, because maybe it's just women way, have come on and they've been mean. Does, doesn't does Destiny have a reputation yes. for making women cry? Didn't he do that even to Lav on stream? Exactly. Maybe, that's that's where I'm saying that if we take... So if it goes the way I think it's going to go, and I think you think it's going to go, then then what he what he uh, writes down in his article can then be... Like then, uh, another person can come and they can now transpose like your whole history of your streaming and like like what all these behaviors he's describing and put them into context. I don't know what you just said. I don't know what you meant. So I think that um, so back in like like a couple of years ago, like when you were on Twitch and like when you were going like when you were going like on Mind Waves, like back when like Hassan had just like stopped talking to you and stuff, the way people would get popular was just to shit on you. Okay. Um, Based. And uh, so I see like okay, so and that has sort of slowed down and uh, to a but... great degree. It hasn't. Oh no, actually it has. As I stopped engaging with lefties, it's kind of slowed down. Now exactly. now red so, pillars are doing it, but sure. Maybe. Oh well. I, I, my my thought pattern was that you maybe have, and maybe you're disagreeing, that you, maybe you've built some protective behaviors that make it so that that can't happen to you. And that would be good from anybody who's a fan of you, anybody who cares about you, and from you, that that'd Wait, be when good. Wait, what, what kind of behaviors are you talking about? Um, what does that mean? Like um, like uh, removing anti-jerk uh, like uh, movements and stuff from your community, that'll protect you, but it also might uh, ca cause a negative impact on someone else. But I understand both sides 100%. If that's the case, right? Okay. <laughs> you, Anything else, Chief? I guess that's it. Uh, but um, I, like, like I said, um, tonight, if if uh, he nails down the, if he fails to answer the question, like if his answer to my questions about the ethics of, uh, like the ethics that he's using in the that he's following going forward in his investigation. If his answers to those questions are just, there are no boundaries, uh, everything online is fair game, as long as you can get it, like, and then once you know it, there's no rules to say I can't like go, like, like just like, just like a insane doxer type m person. If that's what he says, then I'm no longer a fan at all. Okay, well listen, hey. He's gonna have to. You can be a fan of anybody yeah. you wanna be a fan of. It's a beautiful world. We have our first amendment right to do what we wish. <laughs> Right. 
Yeah. Very nice talking to you. Okay. Well, stay safe, buddy. I don't love you. I hate you. Well, I have a okay. severe dislike for you. Okay. But I will earn your trust by the end of that investigation, I would hope. Oh, great. We'll see. Okay. Have fun. Be careful. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Imagine she is confiding in private information to fucking big tech. Why? Why though? Why would you do that? Why would you talk to big tech of all the people to talk to? Hey, how's it going? I got like a million and a half messages uh, oh, to come talk to you. It's the Mr. Grow white blood cells. They've shown to fight. They've shown up to now, fight. No, to be fair. Uh, I've been making Mr. Girl content before uh, anybody like supported them or whatever. For anybody who was like public. I, Wait a second. I'm before gonna talk I, to you about making the I documentary style him? video. No, no. I'm saying like before like there was like anybody like uh like bef I'm the first Mr. Girl orbiter as I've been called by people. Okay. Well, I was it's the first. Like, uh, I was the first Mr. Girl supporter. So just to be clear I, on that. Okay, I think we both know what each other mean now. Um, I'm, I'm the guy that talked to you about the video I'm making about him. Hold on. I'm so sorry. One second. I have to do something really important for one second. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> one second real quick. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> it says a lot that Destiny, for instance, never picks up on or talks about those elements. Reading the book didn't give me information that made it better, but it did tell me what to expect and how to watch it. There's a lot to extract from carefully watching those visions. Also, I think there's a lot to appreciate from a production standpoint, and I think there is world building that matters, but no one is talking about that either for some reason. Okay. If all of your intricate storytelling is done in five second fucking visions and you're wasting on screen time to show like generic training scenes, generic flying scenes, generic save a guy from the worm scenes, generic assassinate. If you're do wasting all the time on that, I'm not going to give you a ton of credit for the visions. Okay. Number one. All right. Number two, there isn't a lot of world building. A couple of people talking to each other about something is not cool world building. I don't know anything about the world at all. There's, I guess there's some political families. There's like the Fremen. Some people have powers and there's like some secret society. There's a fuck ton they could have gone into more to build that world out and they didn't at all, okay? They gave us a few kind of weird scenes to like make you think like, oh, there's some mystery and intrigue there. Like, okay. Okay, sorry, I'm done, go ahead. Uh, Yeah, I just- Oh wait, uh, one more final thing. <laughs> I'm so sorry, hold on. Sure thing. Okay, hold on, I have a friend. Okay, if you care, I have a friend, her cat is dying, okay? If you wanna donate, because I'm not donating, but you can, go there, okay? It's a cat, it's dying of pneumonia. I don't even think it'll survive the surgery, but it might. So if you oh wanna help God, that, that kitty cat, the saddest cat, if you wanna help I've that kitty cat beat pneumonia, there you go, wow, how fun. There, I helped. Okay, sorry, okay, I'm not cutting you off anymore, okay? Uh, sure. Um. By the way, a bunch of people told me not to come talk to you. Um, yeah, but, uh, I'm the master manipulator, so you should have listened to them. Hey, now, now you're done. I just so, want to say, okay. I've, I've, uh, I've always known you to be fairly reasonable. Um, <laughs> fairly, but now when it comes to Mr. Girl, I'm unhinged. Um, I would say a little bit more than other things. I have, I have a couple concerns uh -huh. uh, about how you've changed your rhetoric seemingly overnight. Now I understand. Yes. You're a human, and uh, yes. people are going to get fucking pissed off. I'm a human. But, I'm wrong. Yes. Okay. What else? Do you uh, whoa. Hey, come on now. I've, I'm. Uh, I feel like I've been pretty reasonable in everything that I, I've spent a lot of time defending myself, mm -hmm. and by proxy, defending Mr. Girl. Cool. Okay. I'm not reasonable. I'm and I'm not, trying to extend. I'm, I'm trying to extend some charity to you before we start talking, so that you don't think that uh, you don't have any preconceived notions about uh, how I'm coming at this. Cool. Uh, I think that uh, you're mad, and uh, I would expect you to be. Okay. But uh, some of the things that you've said about him, and then not retracting so went hard about, like yeah, <clears throat> calling him a rapist. I think uh, he is this a rhetoric rapist. was pretty yeah. devoid before. Yeah, yeah. But this mm. wasn't the rhetoric before. It's not like uh, these allegations came out, and then like you went to bed and woke up and was like, oh, I get it. He's a fucking rapist. Uh, how did I never see it before, guys? I finally the see things clearly one, now. He's a rapist. Yeah, the one major thing <clears throat> that changed my opinion on him before anything happened was watching mm -hmm. his conversation with Lav. I think it was the first time on stream, it was before he did anything related to me, but it was the first time on stream where I watched him talk to him. I was like, oof, these are manipulation tactics, 100%. It was the first time I'd called out anything like that. But that conversation was a huge part that moved me over. 
Um, you can go and watch me review that conversation if you want. And that was before they made any weird like uh, sexual abuse accusations towards me. But once I saw how he treated her there, then yeah, it's gonna make me go back and kind of think about other interactions where I would have been charitable towards him and I would have instead viewed them as like, okay, well, not being charitable here, he actually is probably just manipulative. <coughs> and then when I think of stories he's told where even he looks bad, I'm like, okay, yeah, he probably is a rapist too, but. Okay, well, sure, but you're not, um when you're calling him a rapist, mm -hmm. I don't see like a removal of charity in that conversation. I see a total reframing of what happened. Okay, well what happened was a girl said, no, I'm not ready yet, after he pushed her along as quickly as he could towards sexual intercourse, and then he pulled her down on top of him to fuck her anyway, after she said, no, she wasn't ready yet. Uh-huh, and uh, yeah. And then afterwards, uh, they met up and uh, still hooked up and stuff. And uh, wait, wait, wait. Do you think that has been. anything to do with whether it was rape or not? Do you think that has any bearing whatsoever? Well, when we're looking at a past event, uh, do I think that it's important to look at the entirety of the relationship to try to get an understanding of what happened there? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So in that case, just to, for the setting the tone of the rest of the conversation, you're going to have absolutely zero criticisms of me and Anna because she came back and we still talk and sex or whatever, or we don't anymore, but we still talk and we sexed before. So <gasps> that should be okay, right? Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the entire, uh, every, all the information that of I have course. all at once. And gotcha. if I do have any uh, issues mm -hmm. with it, it would be based on that, having the entire uh, context of everything that had happened. Okay. That's, it's really interesting to me that I've explicitly had multiple conversations with Anna where I'm like, hey, how do you want to proceed? Are you okay with this? Do you want to do this? But I'm still abusive towards her. But Mr. Girl pulling a woman down onto his dick after she said, no, I'm not ready. That's okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I love Wait. the, I love how we're gonna show how mine was abusive, but his was actually A-OK. -okay. That's amazing. I didn't so. say that he was perfectly fine in doing that. I'm saying that your rhetoric changed uh, about that seemingly overnight. That's all I said. Okay, wait. You're putting but, a lot of words into my mouth that I'm not saying. Wait, why you're wouldn't- also, You're also telling me what I think about you and Anna too. Wait, why wouldn't my framing of him change as I collect more information? No, no. Well, you keep saying your rhetoric changed overnight. Can. Watching him yeah, talk yeah. to Lav was an insane experience to me. That was yeah, unbelievable. Okay. I I believe you. And, oh, okay. So um, then it was fair for my rhetoric to change then. Okay. I think that it's fair for anybody's rhetoric to change with new information, but I didn't hear any of that change in perspective until after this had happened. I didn't hear this come out. I didn't hear you say that he was a rapist. Like, oh, after watching that Lav video, uh, I now see that he is a rapist. And I'm not sure that I... Uh, understand why you would have waited then if you thought that it seemed like it'd be a pretty important thing to address to him after you've seen the lab thing you go hey you know after i heard you and lab have that conversation mm -hmm. it seems like uh i gotta question some of the other stuff like that rape story now i, I don't even like i didn't even just i think did it was her. literally either the day the next <clears throat> day or it was two mm -hmm. days later that he felt like i was going nuclear on him because of my reaction to that video i think it might have been the next day that he started messaging people behind the scenes so i didn't have a chance to have that conversation with him okay but but when did you find out Find out what? That he was messaging people behind the scenes. Are you saying it was a day or the next day? I think it was literally out? the next day. Okay, well then, hey, fair enough. Uh, did you uh, use the lab thing and that's what you, did you explain that it was because of the lab conversation when you started calling him a rapist? Um, well, it was after he started implying that I was a rapist and after the lab conversation, but. Well, hey, I'm just saying, if, if not, that's fine. I also, can still, hold on, uh, to be clear, I just want to be clear too. If you go back and you watch my original videos when I was being the most charitable, I literally yeah. describe that like, you have to be really careful when you're doing what Mr. Girl's doing because like one out of five times, even if you're like really favorable, you're just going to be raping people. Like even back then I said that, but I was willing to yeah. say like maybe he was in the rare exception where like it's not happening. But like, it's not like I changed that dramatically. It's just now that I've seen more information about and I see that he can be really manipulative, especially in that lab combo. Now I'm more likely to think he probably was just raping people. <laughs> uh, but, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I understand all that. Uh, I've watched uh, probably the majority of the videos that you've put out in the last couple of years. So uh, I I believe you when you say stuff like that. That's fine. Um, okay. gotcha. But uh, if you could help me understand the with the rape thing, uh, what, what was the charity? Uh, like, I guess, what was your justification prior when you say you were extending this charity uh, that you're revoking from him? Uh, that it, like, it might be possible that he actually truly does have like a really highly empathetic read <clears throat> on people that maybe he, you're, hold on, or sorry, never mind. He might have like a very, very, very empathetic read towards some people. He might have like the ability to figure out if people are comfortable, uncomfortable, whatever, that maybe that's a thing. But like slowly mm -hmm. over time that eroded and then watching him in that lab conversation was a huge like, oh, holy shit, this guy isn't empathetic at all. He's literally, he's not mind reading people. He's mind fucking people. Um, okay. Do you think it's at all possible that, uh, 
while he, he can be both empathetic and also fail to empathize with people uh, the correct way sometimes? No, I think that narcissism necessarily precludes oh. being empathetic. So I, I don't think he can possibly be empathetic. I think that he has hardcore molds that he um, Im, Im, um, imprints and sees, there's a word I'm looking for. He has hardcore molds that he projects onto the world and then things can only fit that and that's it. Uh, okay, I do think that sometimes uh, he'll get trapped into a way of thinking. I, I kind of outlined it before and how that can go, but I, I'm not so sure that I uh, agree with the with the rape thing. Uh, and okay. like, here's like a quick I, thing I that, that it's possible. Sure. But here's I don't, a, here's a I quick so. thing that could prove me wrong, and I'm not expecting you to do this right now, but maybe for the future, sure. this is something you could investigate. And if you can't find anything, maybe it's cause for concern. Has there ever been a case ever in a conversation with somebody where he claim where he claims they have a certain thought or a mental state, and then he goes on to say, "Oh, I was wrong about that," where he changes his me. mind? Me, yeah, me. He thought I was trying to leave the conversation. He thought I was trying to exit the conversation and uh, it was uh, a little uh, tense and uh, I just sort of explained what was going on and he was like, oh, okay. And this was, I think, our first or second time ever talking. He did not know who I was. Uh, if it was the second time, I'd remember that I was a caller from before. Uh, for just a caller, I'm not sure if it's the same type of thing, but like where he's having like a more in-depth emotional conversation with somebody and he's accused them of like lying or he's accused them of having, so I know he did it one time, I think to Lauren, um, he did it to that Aurelia girl. Um, he's done it to, um, fuck, I have to go back and find examples. Not like in the, not like in the middle of a, of a call where he's like, oh, I thought you were trying to do one thing and now you're trying to do another thing. And that's a different type of thing that I'm talking about, but, um, Sure, but I guess in all fairness, um, that at least allows you to, uh, I mean, maybe a caller isn't the exact same thing, but at least um, it's a start, right? Uh, For you okay. to believe that maybe, no, right? No, I don't think so. Because I've watched him oh. do this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I don't think that like sure. being able to do like a caller, um, is, it's just such okay. a, it's a minor thing compared to like, yeah, but. Okay, well, he, he does know who I am now, and I have said uh, a lot of times that uh, I don't fall into the same traps that a lot of people do when I talk to him, because I've talked to him a lot more since then, and uh, I'm having a stream with him tonight where we're going to, uh, me and a couple other people are going to interrogate him about the things that you're upset about and the things that other people have concerns about, and I'll see if I fall into any of those traps, uh, and if I do, if uh, I can navigate them, because I think what you have said for a long time is true, that um, a lot of times he'll say something uh, and what people hear isn't necessarily what he's trying to say. And you've kind of uh, mediated that before. You said something like he's speaking uh, Mr. Girl or Mr. Girlanese and you're speaking English. Yeah, and then you went through a, and explained what's meant. That was an you, error you on this. my part. I shouldn't have done that, but yeah, I'm not doing that for people <clears> as much anymore. <laughs> okay, well, um, him and I have had big disagreements <laughs> and instead of getting uh, stuck down and uh, getting caught in the loops and stuff, we've been able to move forward because I think I have a pretty good understanding of like what he's saying. Uh, and a lot of times when there's a disagreement, uh, it's just the whole purpose is to understand uh, where both people are coming from and then we can move right along. So if he says, I think you're lying to somebody, he's not saying I know that you're lying. He's saying that I think that you're lying and if you keep saying things that are just trying to convince me, then uh, then we're gonna be stuck here. And when people don't do that, then things move along just fine. I don't think he's trying to convince them that they're lying. He's trying to convince them that this is what he believes, and it's pointless to continue the conversation uh, saying anything that uh, no, I doesn't think what preclude he's, the idea that he doesn't believe I think that. what he's saying is, um, I know what you are feeling better than you know. But he's said explicitly otherwise before. And that's so why, I have um, logs of him talking to Supreme seven months ago, <clears> where he <throat> says, and I quote, you can't say I failed to guess at an emotion unknown to yourself. That makes no sense. I think I know what you are feeling better than you do. He's also said uh, in the same conversation, and he also said this with Lav, kind of, he says, I feel constantly bombarded with unwanted knowledge of everyone's unconscious feelings and thoughts. He said in a video, too. So th this isn't somebody that's just, like, saying, oh, well, I think that you're blah, blah, blah. Like, this is somebody that feels like they can mind-read everybody around them. Yeah, I think that he's somebody that thinks that he has a pretty good read on people, but he does acknowledge, he has acknowledged, too, that, like, he doesn't know that he's right. It's just what he thinks. But he acts like he's right. Well, you, you're, um, you're, you're, I guess in a way, you're kind of doing the same thing I did. You are taking something insane and you're trying to make it sound not so insane. What you just described is a normal <coughs> everyday. Okay, hold on, chill. If you can, when you cough, if you can mute your mic for a sec, because it picks yeah, up sorry. really loud over the mic. No, that's fine. I, okay. uh, I usually have my mute, I have a mute button right here. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry, I have a bad nasal drip. Nope, you're good. Okay. Um, 
when, when what you just described is normal human behavior that like, oh, like I think I know what somebody is thinking or feeling, uh, but mm. sometimes I'm wrong, but that's not what he does. He will badger and pester you until the point of tears trying to tell you that he knows what you're thinking. It's not, his behavior is very far off the norm. Um, I guess when that happens to me, I, I acknowledge that that's what he's thinking and I don't try to predicate uh, the things that I say based on him not thinking that and it moves along pretty well. I don't seem to fall into the same traps that everybody else falls into where we get stuck when I have big disagreements. When I disagreed with him about ADHD and we fought about it for 45 minutes plus, uh, when I disagreed with him about veganism and we argued about that for like a half hour, we I didn't fall into any of these traps even when we strongly disagreed. Okay, I mean, I'm not saying it's not impossible. And I think it's, it's, it's because impossible. I understand what's happening there. Okay. Um, I, I don't disagree that it's possible to play like translator for him, um, but like having to do that so much is a textbook example of him not being empathetic. He's failing massively in empathy if other people are having to like mind read him and play games to try to make it under, like understand what he's saying, right? We don't have to mind read, you just have to take what he's saying at face value. No, it's not at face value. You have to do a lot of subtext to, to understand what the fuck he's actually saying or meaning. If it was at face value, um, then what you're just saying, what you, you, you can't have it both ways, okay? Either uh -huh. Max is a very easy person to talk to because he's very empathetic and he knows what people are generally thinking, um, in which case, like, everybody's gonna be able to understand him, or only you have a special ability to understand him. If you have a special ability to understand somebody, it means that person's probably not very empathetic. Um, well, I guess, let me put it this way. I think that most people aren't very good at engaging people that uh, say things at face value. When I say things and I'm very literal and I'm very direct with people, uh, my words go into their ear. They uh, fill in a bunch of extra shit that I didn't say that they're assuming that I mean, whether it's about the conversation that we're having uh, or some other weird thing that they're trying to pull from me. And then they respond to me as though I said something completely different a lot, but I'm being very literal and direct. And I see that kind of thing happening a lot when he's talking to people. They'll respond to what he's saying in relation to the conversation, even if that's not the way he's saying it. Okay, this and that's frequently. fine. But what you're describing is autism, not empathy. It is the exact opposite of empathy. When I'm having a conversation with somebody, I understand there's a lot of subtext. I understand there's a lot of things that could be implied. I understand there's a lot of different ways because I am an empathetic person. I know that there's like a ton of different ways to communicate with somebody, a ton of different ways somebody can feel about something. For you to say like, oh, well, I'm only speaking at a direct one-to-one -one exact literal value and I expect you to compute my shit like computer code, like a fucking Python script where like, like if you if you're saying something like that, and that what you're saying is fine, somebody could be like that, but it's not empathetic. You can't say that's empathetic. That is the exact opposite of empathy. Because if you Wait, were empathetic, I, you would know how a normal person translates some of the shit that's being said. You'd know how a normal person functions in a conversation. I think that um, Mr. Girl has given an example of what he thinks empathy means, and I'm pretty sure it matches up pretty well with the dictionary, which is where you imagine what another person is feeling. Okay, hold. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, imagining what another person is feeling. But there's yeah. a there's subtext to that. It's imagine what they're feeling and you're correct. It's well, not well, and you're confident about it's, it. Yeah. No, 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 not confident about it. Not when you're projecting about it, because he's very confident about imagining what other people's feeling. But it's about you being correct sure. or not. And oftentimes it seems like he's not, or at least people say that he's not, and then he'll bully them and make them cry and break down on stream until they like say, Oh, maybe you were right. Which I guess oh, is how many people are crying and breaking down on stream? For Max's stream? Yeah. Um, Lav did that. Um, that one sex worker girl did. Um, how many other people had like breakdowns or were crying on his stream where he's just staring I awkwardly? I think that's it. And his that, girlfriend that did Ella it. Girl Stardust had it happen, great. I think. Um, <clears throat> I think I said Shailen and Stardust, right? Um, uh, did Cherry yeah, do it? Fair, I'm not sure if Cherry I, did or not. Shailen's never done it on a stream, just curated videos. Okay, my bad. It happened in videos. Well, there's, I mean, that's obviously something he wanted the audience to see if it was in a video that was uh, recorded ahead of time and then edited. Well, sure, but I'm just saying that, that he's made a lot of people cry before when he's talking to them. It's a pretty rare experience when I'm talking to somebody that I make them cry, but maybe I'm just not like the master empath, <laughs> I guess. Well, good God, I hope, I hope all the people that have cried when they talk to me aren't because I made them cry. I hope it's because they just had emotions and they cried. Yeah, but when you're intentionally like goading those emotions out, when you're fishing for them, it's a little bit of a different vibe. Um, okay. Uh, so, uh, sure. Uh, I think that some people are going to have a very hard time uh, talking to Mr. Girl. And no, I no, no, not some really people, most people, most people.
Most people, be honest. It's most people, right? I'm pretty sure he got thrown out of school. I think his dad disowned him, um, or at least the things he was saying. I think that a lot of people had issues with the articles that he'd written in his paper. A lot of people had a lot of issues with the stuff that he'd posted on Reddit relating to women and feminism and rape. A lot of people have, had, like it's most people in his life, real and online. Don't say some, it's most. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I can, I can say that there is a uh, not super small amount. I don't I don't know how many people, but uh, okay. If you read the newspaper stuff. Uh, I think that uh, people are upset about that are just uh, fucking crying. To be honest, sure you can think that, but I I just uh, I, I want you to be aware that like a lot of the statements that you're saying right now you are carrying water for him. Okay, you are saying stuff that's just not true. You so you either the problem is is that I think you're being honest with me. I don't think you're lying to me. I think you're lying to yourself, and I can't help you point that out. Um, but like um, when you when you're saying things like, "Oh no," like most people can understand what he's saying, or like most people are are just mad because of this thing. Like that's obviously that's not true. Like we can just look at the record. Like we can just like we can very clearly see that like these are statements that are just not true. But you're free to think whatever you want. It's all good. Okay, so I can agree that most uh, content creators have a hard time talking to him. Yes. Because Even I his own girlfriend is crying on videos multiple times with him. If if not content creator, Lav, who's like his adopted f***ing daughter, is crying on stream with him. Who are all these people that can have like normal conversations with him? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but Lav's cried on a, a several streams. Sure. Okay. So like, I don't know if this is a feature of Mr. Girl that's making her cry. Well, it no, I, that like was an example of somebody that's like, a, that's like a personal relationship with him where they're still like having issues. So I'm just curious, when you say that like, it's not true that most people are like being really- Well, I said that I don't issues. know that it is. That's that's all. Okay. I, I'm just, uh, I just want to be very honest with the way that I answer you. Gotcha. I'm not trying to, uh, not trying to be hyperbolic. I'm not trying to misrepresent what you're saying. And I'm just trying to answer very honestly. Okay. It's important to me. Uh, is that fair? Um, yeah, I mean, I think you're doing the thing where it's like, you're so afraid of making a bad statement that you won't commit to anything that's even obviously true, but obviously we're gonna disagree on that, so it's all good. Uh, okay, correct, yeah, I don't think that's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just trying to be thoughtful in what I say. And I'm not trying to misrepresent you either. Um, okay. So, um, can you, so I guess maybe I missed it. Uh, what was the framing that you had for, uh, so it is empathy, right? You, you thought that he could empathize with the woman uh, and then, now you think that he can't empathize with anybody and that's why it was rape? Um, yeah, I got, I, I was manipulated a bit by his, um, the fake empathy that he does because he does it really well. And I was convinced for a little bit that like, oh, maybe he can be like a really empathetic person or whatever. But now like in retrospect, especially seeing his conversation with Lav, now that I see it's a handful of like narcissistic manipulator tactics and it makes more sense framing his interactions with people through that lens. I can understand it better. So, uh, if you were tricked by his fake empathy, can you explain to me what the difference between fake empathy that is effective and real empathy? Like, what's the what's the meat and potatoes here? How do we know what's different? If he was faking it so well that it was indistinguishable actual empathy, so doesn't the, that qualify the fake, as what the you fake call part, empathy? I guess to be more clear, um, the he didn't get me with the fake empathy. He got me with the fake vulnerability. So, fake vulnerability oh. in my mind is when you are you're pretending to be very emotionally compromised and vulnerable to somebody, but in reality, you're not emotionally compromised at all. The conversation and everything happening is going exactly as planned. The vulnerability that you're doing is almost part of like this like um, this trick to get somebody to feel like they've entered into a world where they have way more control than they actually do. And then from that conversation, then you control them. It sounds like, uh, sure. But if that was the case, it sounds like uh, you could be a super, it sounds like what you described to me is somebody who is very manipulative, but also very empathetic and they're using their empathy to manipulate. Well, that's that's an example of the fake vulnerability. That's the manipulator part. The fake empathy is, the reason why I think his empathy is fake is because he has a thing where, I think he's even done it with, he has done it with me multiple times, where he said like, you feel this and I know you do. I know you feel this and I know you do. And I was like, no, I don't. But he keeps saying it over and over and over again until I think with some people it's to break them down until eventually they second guess themselves and they do believe that it's true. Um, it doesn't work on me though, because I'm not, I can't be manipulated in that way. Um, but for other people, I think they have been. So the, uh, okay. so the strategy is basically just like, I'm just gonna keep telling what you f telling you what you feel over and over and over again until eventually you are too tired to resist and then you're going to agree with me. That's like his like go-to basically. 
Uh, do you think it's possible that your analysis of a single conversation, uh, reframing the entire way that you look at every action of his through this lens might have been uh, one that wasn't correct, considering that prior to... Uh, so wait, the conversation with Lab was after like your... Uh, where you guys decided not to stream together anymore? Or well, yeah. he decided not to stream with me, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it was after that too, yeah? Um, it was after that... Um... Yeah, it was after he decided to stream with me anymore, yes. Okay, so is it at all possible that when you saw that video um, that you might have uh, misinterpreted how you... Like, did you only watch this once, come to this conclusion, this is what's completely repainted your world? <laughs> I'm just trying to understand. No, nope. I'm not so saying this is the what question happened. Is, yeah, so the question is, is do you think that maybe now you're being uncharitable? The reality is, is that I was being incredibly charitable the entire time, and if anything were to break that illusion of charitability, then I would probably go back and rewrite everything. Right? So like, let's say for instance, I've got a friend and they tell the funniest fucking rape jokes. Okay? And like, I met this girl yesterday. <laughs> and listen, she said no, but she didn't after she got enough drinks today, right? Or like, I met this chick yesterday. Did you know that you can f people really well on LSD when they're like peaking? If somebody made a joke, 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 I'm like, yeah, they're really funny. They tell crazy outlandish jokes. If one day a girl comes up to me, she's like, yo, this mother roofied me. Here's video evidence. Holy shit. Then I'd be like, oh shit. Every single joke, I don't think those were jokes. I think it was a rapist. That's what would happen. Okay. Uh, that's a really interesting example. Uh, do you think that something like that might have been what happened to Mr. Grill when he talked to Anna? Uh, no. Why not? Because all of the information relating to Anna had already been completely and totally available to him. But for me, his conversations were becoming more unhinged in ways that I was uncomfortable with that I hadn't seen as much earlier with situations that I wasn't as familiar with. So for instance, um, the uh, conversation that he had with Stardust was really fucking weird. Where Stardust was saying like, um, like oh, um, this is a boundary that I've put up to keep myself from getting raped. And he's like, well, I think you're just playing games and it's offensive to me and then eventually she got so upset by that conversation he said i don't think you're emotionally mature enough to have this conversation and then he did something similar with cherry and it's like i don't want to be friends with people like that. i don't want to rely on you ever again i can't trust people like that okay so i did not um uh publicly make you an enemy it doesn't matter i did not i don't care if i did not i don't give a fuck what you didn't do i'm talking about what you did okay you ditched me I can't be friends with somebody who runs from conflict like that. Ooh. Um, I, I'm sorry I didn't re re react the way that you wanted me to react, but Fuck that's you. just that not was such the a way bullshit that I was going to react. That's such a bullshit response. I'm sorry I didn't react the way you wanted me to react, but that just wasn't how I was going to react. That doesn't mean anything. You can't even have this conversation. You like literally can't handle conflict. If you can't handle conflict, we can't really be friends. But I, what I don't want is a relationship where I provide all the warmth, I provide all the understanding, I provide all the conflict resolution, where I'm basically fucking parenting you, walking you through how to deal with being mad at somebody. Damn. And, and not, and not ditch them for three months. Is. It's like it's for, you're acting like a fucking 14 year old. You're I not think, emotionally no, mature enough for so. me to be friends with you. <laughs> I think that I needed, again, after that conversation, um, I was uncomfortable and I just needed space and that's what I did. I took space. I didn't ask you, no, uh, you know, I didn't if, need you, you to hold my you, hand. I even, didn't need, I, you know, you I didn't need anybody space, else if, to hold my hand. Even if you, okay, taking three months of space after that conversation is a, a friendship destroying we, act for well, most, for most relationships. We occasionally. We didn't know, we did, no, it was a very icy, cold, distant, fake shit. No, we didn't. Damn. I don't want to engage with your hypothetical unless I know that Max thinks that I can consent and am mature enough to have this conversation. This is petty. I think this you is are, petty. I think you, I think you can petty. consent to the to conversation. I think you can consent to the conversation, but I don't think you are emotionally or psychologically equipped to follow it. The thing about me is I have the best No, so if you so think that I am it'll be all, too it'll all be fine. retarded, just let me just let me just throw say out, that. Just let me throw out the hypothetical. Because do you think that that's I'm ethical retarded. for you to have a retarded me, person talking about consent? If you just consent? Throw out this hypothetical, <laughs> yes. everything will make perfect sense. I'm telling no, you. No, Max, I think, on I God. I don't think you're retarded. No, because you have to clarify that. Because if you think that I can't consent to this or I'm too retarded, you are fucking up right now. I think you can't follow the conversation because it's too upsetting to you. There was that ordeal. Then there was the conversation he had with the lab where I actually saw a couple really effective manipulator tactics like being displayed in real time on a live stream. When I saw those two things, those two things dramatically started to change the way that I viewed him. And then unfortunately the next day, 
like shit came out where like Lav and him were doing really weird shit about me. But um, yeah, those were the two things. That, but now for me and Anna, like um, he's known about almost everything relating to me and Anna for months and months, except maybe he didn't know that we still had like a, a intimate relationship, like on text. Um, but I don't know if that one thing is really enough to flip everything. That doesn't make sense in my mind. Uh, what but does make sense is that Lav defected from me, went over to him, him and Lav psyched each other up. Lav went and farmed Anna for him. Him, Lav and Anna all psyched each other up. And then he decided to like go on this whole like sexual abuser route because I disagreed with him on some things. Like if I, that through that framing, almost every single thing makes sense. But through the framing Wait, of like, yeah, go ahead. You, are you saying that um, he didn't believe Anna and he just wanted whatever he could get to hurt you out of spite? Um, I actually, I don't believe that, um, I don't think Mr. Girl is spite driven at all. I think he genuinely believes everything he's saying, but it comes from a form of, okay. uh, comes from a place of narcissism. But I think that he believes it, yeah. Okay, well, I've, I've gotten a lot of people like well, like five feet up my ass telling me that this is spite driven. So I'm really glad that at least you're on my side with this because I've been combating this narrative for like the last week and a half. Yeah, I wish it was spite driven on. because that would be better than him genuinely being a narcissist. I think the reality is a lot scarier than him just being spiteful. But um, well, we may not agree about the mechanisms per se. Uh, and who knows? It could be narcissism. I don't think so. But like, I, I can't see in anybody's brain. But you and I both agree that he is doing what he's doing because he thinks it's the correct thing to do, right? Um, yeah. To a narcissist, okay. everything you do is the correct thing to do. Calling that one guy a motherfucker, the professor on stream, that was the right thing to do because he didn't want to play games and like I was disrespecting him. Burning the Lex bridge to the fucking ground, that was the right thing to do because he thought Lex was fucking with him through emails. Burning his relationship with me, that was the right thing to do because he thought I was abusive. Uh, making everybody cry on stream and mind reading him, that's the right, like, of course, in his mind, from a narcissist's point of view, every single thing they do is always going to be the right thing to do, always. Him being abusive towards Shaylin, him being manipulative towards Anna, he literally does a Twitter video saying like, well, yeah, I told her that if she didn't give us those screenshots, shots immediately even though she didn't want to he was going to nuke all of us so she had to do it he thinks that's the right thing to do yeah he thinks everything is the right thing to do of course if you ever want to guide me through if you want to see if i'm being bad faith or not if i've ever said like oh i think he's being spiteful or whatever if i ever say that it's just because i'm being mad i don't think i have i think generally i'm pretty saying like he's i don't think he's spite driven i think he really does believe he's doing the right thing yeah. but that's like a product of his narcissism sorry go ahead. I'm, I'm not even trying to get you right now i'm trying to use this opportunity to get a good idea of what you think because i've had a lot of people tell me what they think you think and i don't want to assume any of that shit. sure um so now, uh, obviously, uh, you don't think that ev he thinks every single thing that he's done is the right thing to do because he said he's made mistakes and he's uh, felt bad about his mistakes and he's apologized to people for things. Uh, and like he's very clearly shown that he is uh, remorseful for stuff. He talked about it. Uh, even with Stardust, Remorseful for that, what? What do you mean? Um, he said that when he had his conversation with Stardust, uh, it was his fault and he felt really bad because he considers himself to be very empathetic and it failed him in that conversation. I'd be curious to see how he phrased that, but okay. Uh, that's, I mean, it's got to be pretty close to what I said because uh, I thought that whole stream was really sad. Um, and it, it really st stood out to me because uh, it, it was a bummer to watch that shit. Mm -hmm. um, so and, unless you think that it's uh, it was phrased in a way that was like completely off, like I'm just saying, obviously you don't think that he thinks that everything that he does is a great idea. Obviously you think that he admits that he's made mistakes at some point and all that, yeah? Sure, I think he can probably make mistakes. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. But like, I so mean, like you saying, or no, no, I'd have to watch the video because the way that you phrase that, that video could go other ways. Like if you're like, if you're saying that he's apologizing because he mind read her so fucking well that it like made her vulnerable and scared. Like that's like a textbook, like narcissist oh, no, 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 apologist. No. So apology, but I would have to see, I'd literally have to see it. Like, uh, I, I'm very confident that, that was not the case that, um, uh, he, he assumed fault for that. Okay. Um, so I'm glad that uh, you and I both agree that he thinks that what he's doing is the right thing, which means that uh, if you think you're doing the right thing and you think you're a good person, you don't have a choice. You have to do the right thing, right? Yep. Okay, cool. That's uh, that's great. You and I disagree with almost everyone else who's talking about this then. Yeah, that's not surprising. From the outside, I think his actions look very spite-filled. And there is a narrative, a compelling one that you can draw where it looks like he's acting out of spite. <sighs> But um, I don't. I don't think you he can't is. accept it. Doesn't line up with anything else he's ever done. Um, which is why I think that you're on the same page as me. Yeah, I think the narcissism thing is way better explanatory. I think there's other things he could have done if he was spite driven. Um, I just don't. He doesn't come off as spite driven to me. I don't think that's what's driving him.
Yeah, that's why he's always told all of his fans to not defend him, to not go after anybody. Um, made it really clear that that's not what he wants. If he was, I mean, those could be uh, manipulator tactics. So you have to be, be careful, right? Because he accused me. He sure. said that I ban all criticism of my subreddit because I am um, because I'm trying to defend myself and and make a whole bunch of like circle jerkers. But then when I said, well, that's not true. I do keep some criticism up. He says, oh, well, okay, you don't ban all criticism, but the only criticism you don't ban is controlled opposition. So it's like, oh, okay, I guess literally no matter what I do, I'm in the wrong. So it could be that he's literally just doing that because he thinks that's an effective tactic. But I don't know. I can't truly know that. Um, well, I don't think I've seen anything of Mr. Grill that would suggest that he's, like, good at tactics when it comes to, like, navigating, like, interpersonal dramas like we see on Twitch. I mean, he's good if, at if, manipulating if people, but I, we probably disagree with that, so. Um, he might be. Uh, that, that doesn't necessarily mean that at any given point I think that that's what's happening, but, uh, I don't, I don't think that it's uh, super hard for people to understand how to manipulate people. Uh, I think that you've said before that you can manipulate people really well. You just choose not to, yeah? Well, but I think it's challenge. I think it's difficult to do it well. Um, that's why most people aren't manipulators. Uh, I, I agree that it's difficult to do it well, but if you can, uh, if, if you can do it well, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to, yeah? Um, True. Uh, like for example, I um I try really hard to make sure that uh, when I say things to people that they don't feel uh, I, I work really hard to make sure that I don't inadvertently manipulate people around me. Okay. Uh, because I think that most people uh, are pretty susceptible to that shit. So I think it's even if you are manipulating people, it's not necessarily uh, something you're intending to do. Okay. Well, yeah, sure. I think his is intentional, but okay. Sure. If if you think that he's really good at manipulating people, then why is he in the uh? Why is like his career and everything in the state that he's in? It seems like he sacrificed a lot. Because he's he's narcissistic. That's the issue, right? The the issue with his narcissism is that it doesn't allow him to ever do an optics or rhetorical one on everything because he feels like he's on a holy crusade where if he just has the ability to have people that are smart enough or intelligent enough or like with a critical enough eye, then he will always be redeemed in the end. That's why he can make the most extreme statements possible. That's why he can say the most off the wall shit ever because he knows that he's right. And if people just take a close enough look, he will be vindicated in the end. That's how he views his life from his point of view. <clears throat> How does the narcissism play into the whole uh, the narcissism, lack of empathy, uh, just trying to manipulate for this reason, play into the uh, uh, you and Nick Fuentes thing? Because when I watched that, um, I seen um, him trying to talk to you and have a hard time reaching you. Uh, well, I mean, like the, a, I think that the way that it played in there was he fig he felt like he was right about a particular thing. And that it was, mm -hmm. I think he believes that I'm really smart. I think he thinks, because I am really smart. So I think he thinks that I'm really smart. So the idea that I could disagree with him on something related to politics that was so crucial to both of our platforms is impossible. I, I, he can't be wrong. And if I'm pretty smart, I can't disagree. So I think that that was one of the first breaking points to where he's like, this is impossible, like something else to be going on. That was also where he tried to mind read me. And he tried to say like, oh, um, I, Destiny, I think you feel bad, by the way, that I got deplatformed by Fuentes. I think you feel somewhat responsible for that. I don't at all. I don't feel guilty about that. I don't feel bad about it. I mean, like, I, I like, I feel a little bad. I'm like, oh shit, that sucks, but I don't feel responsible. Like, not even close. Of course not. Like, that could have happened with with any person doing that to him, and I just, <clears throat> just, like, that's like the way of the internet. But he, he's, he still to this day probably believes that mind me that I felt guilty over something, but. Yeah, I think that he was so Most narcissistic people. about it. He showed up in my subreddit afterwards to make a big post about, like, look, I was right about Fuentes. <laughs> like, I, I think that uh, when you feel like your friend, if you think that your friend feels bad about something like that, I think that what you're doing is, um, I, I, I would think that most people would feel that way. Hope uh, that's probably just like a hope. That's probably is a projection, in hoping that like my friend had, uh, my friend cared about me so much that like they probably feel some kind of bad, because like I know that sometimes I feel bad about things that weren't my fault, um, you know that kind of thing. Because it, it, it impacts the relationship is like a little bit more complicated here, being like streamers and shit. But uh, sure, I think that uh, Mr. Girl has stated a bunch of times that he doesn't fully understand how the the things in uh, that go into streaming and how people interact with each other work very well. I think he's made it really clear that he disagrees with the way that people treat each other a lot. So I think that you're going to get a lot of like really goofy, wacky things um, that aren't going to be the norm when it comes to talking about how streamers interact with each other when you're uh, 
talking to Mr. Girl and how he views these things. And I think that you, out of everybody else that he's interacted with, um, he tried really hard to keep that, like, you're, you're like a normal guy to him. Like, you're like a regular guy. You're not, like, you understand that, like, all this shit's fucked up with how people stream, and you're not like everybody else. And a lot of his interactions with you seem to suggest that. Uh, like when he talked to you about the Fuentes thing, and uh, you even recognized too, like you were going off kind of hard with like, you said, sorry, I had like my, you, you said, basically said you were in debate mode and you felt bad because uh, because it was such a like a, a tense topic or whatever. And that's just, that's just how you, how you operate when things get really tense. Like sure. That. I'm trying to be aware you, of like if people of, could get upset after like a conversation, I'm trying to like make sure things are like chill or whatever. Sure. Yeah. And um, he was trying really hard to get a point across that he wasn't and uh he no no he, he got kept, it like, across really well said, that was the issue the issue was he was upset that i wasn't agreeing with him no i this i think this was the first of the three conversations and he kept he started putting his hand over his heart. he said steven it's me it's me it's me because uh you were responding in a way that like to the words that he said as if somebody was trying to get you with it um yeah i, I that, view that as like I that's thought. all just like he's just manipulative and and that's all he's trying to do there like oh my god it's well, me like how could you not trust me like of course like that's how i view it but i mean i understand if you don't like so we're just gonna have totally different interpretations right sure I, I think if it's all an act then he can ditch the streaming thing because there's a career for him in hollywood i mean i think he is he is the best manipulator i've ever seen in my life I, like I'll, I'll give him that like i've never met anybody that is as convincing or compelling a manipulator as he is so like I'm, I'm not gonna deny that like i think he's very 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 good like i my joke privately and i think if we said it publicly is that like he's like a bob seven on fucking steroids or like a grown-up adult version of bob seven where he's very 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 good at manipulating people watching him do it with lab on that live stream was insane and he's but he's also so narcissistic and i don't think generally people like bob seven wasn't narcissistic right he was just a dumb fuck uh, but he was manipulative which is good but um not narcissistic but like mr girl will manipulate people openly and in public but he doesn't even think it's wrong because his mission is so righteous and holy so that's it's just an interesting combination of traits i get okay um i out of anybody that I've ever seen talk about uh, anything, uh, I think that you probably end up, uh, in my view, being right more often than anybody else. So what would your best example to give to me to convince me that I am incorrect uh, about Mr. Girl and that you are correct? Because I've said pretty consistently, if, um, if I seen him like outright lie, oh, yes. uh, I, would, I would have to change the way that I thought about him like a lot. Uh, I wouldn't. The, pro the problem with the narcissist is that if you're bought into a few of his like fundamental axioms for how he views the world, then mm -hmm. you are never because he's not wrong, really. Once you start looking at things from his point of view, so it's like it's over for you. <laughs> it's it's bad. I'm talking to you for the benefit of my audience at this point. I don't think there's anything I could say ever to convince you. Like you could rape a woman and you would be convinced that it's probably okay because like the way that things played out, the mixed signals she was giving, like there, I don't think you could ever be convinced. I don't her. think so. Jesus well, of course Christ. you don't. Yeah, of course you don't think so. But like he's literally on video he's saying like, oh yeah, I guess I'm a rapist. And you're like, oh, well that's crazy that you would say that too, Destiny. Well, I think that I have the same opinion that you had about that story prior. Sure, but like, how do you? Um... So, like, you were bought into it, and you got out. You were convinced. So, I'm saying, like, <clears throat> why can't you even attempt to try to convince me? I'm like, here, good faith, saying, uh, give me the best pitch. Fucking change my mind. You've changed my mind about a lot of shit. Mister Girl has changed my mind about very finite best amount of things. But pitch. I've watched you religiously for like Here's, five or six okay, years. Okay, so here are a couple of things that were insane. To I'm me. a receptive Destiny sure. fan. Here are a couple of things that were insane to me. Do you mm -hmm. think when he left my community, do you think he was doing that for Lav? No. Okay, he tells her that explicitly when they're talking one-on-one -on, -one on that stream. Um, I should uh, I should leave Steven's orbit because it's, uh, in, for, for, in, some, in some way bad for Lav, if I say. Did he leave my orbit for Lav? Leave, you say. Yes. Or, well, I'm so confused. Why? What is the... Because I'm supposed to set a f***ing example for you. Holy shit. You're going to make me kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> no. Max! You're not my dad. Max! You're not my dad! You think I should leave? <laughs> it's looking pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. 
I think um I think I'll leave. But I th- I think I think I'll leave. But I don't want to make like a stink of it. That's impossible. Yeah. I li- I do like Steven a lot. Me too. Um he's And I like lovable, his message. He's a, he's a yeah. lovable guy. He is. Uh oh. But I'm an abuser. This is a lot though. The whole thing's a lot. Hurricane local statement. Wait, is there another hurricane right now? coming to me? Tropical storm. Gotcha. What? How is he crying? What's happened? Did I miss something? You don't have to leave. <laughs> Do I think that it was a, a smaller part of the equation? It might have been, yeah. No. But I don't think Stop. that was the reason he You're, left. Okay. This is either <clears throat> you're autistic or I don't know how to say this, but if I'm having a conversation with you and I say, I left that community for you. That's not, well, maybe it was a smaller part of everything, blah, blah, blah. No, that's not what was yeah, being yeah, communicated. Yeah. So let's so let's back up and I'm gonna ask you this again, okay? We're gonna we're gonna replay the conversation because I don't know what the okay. fuck you just did there, okay? So okay, I'm sure. You, I, I understand. Do you think initially that he left the community for her? I don't think that Mr. Girl left for any one particular reason. I think that there is a very large reason and probably a number of smaller reasons that he left, and that um, if he's talking to Lav in an interpersonal level, he might emphasize that one. Um, to okay. let her know that she's important, yeah. Gotcha, okay. So, I don't know if you're aware of it. No, 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 what you just said makes perfect sense, okay? Yeah. But it's manipulation. What you just said is manipulating, right? Like, let's say for instance that I, um, let's say that there's a friend and let's say he fucking backstabs me, okay? He, you know, he makes up some lie by me or whatever. And then I go to another friend and we mutually, we hate him. And that friend is like, do you still talk to, um, do you still talk to Jamie or whatever? And I'm like, I don't talk to Jamie anymore. I stopped talking to him because I know how strongly you feel about him. But that's not true. I stopped talking to him because he backstabbed me. But if I were to tell that to that other person, I'm manipulating them. I'm trying to make them think that I did an action just for them, and only them. And it's a form of manipulation, right? If I were to jerk off and make a fucking video of it, and I send it to 10 girls, and I say to every single girl, I made this video thinking of you and only for you. It was you were the only one in my mind. That's, I'm manipulating them, I'm lying. It's like half true, maybe I was jerking off to somebody, but they don't know that. These are what you describe, do you understand that what you're describing is a form of manipulation at least? Maybe like light yeah, manipulation? Yeah, 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 but I would say it's like uh, if you sent that video and you said, I made this for you and sent it to 10 women that you did make it for, uh, but yeah, you're, you're putting a little uh, salesman manipulation, a little bit of okay. spin on there, sure. Okay, so we can agree there's a little bit of manipulation, okay. Um, yeah, I don't think Mr. Grill would say he left the community for Lav if I asked him. I, I'm going to ask him that tonight when I do the interview. Yeah, you should ask, okay? Because his exact yeah, words were, somebody quoted my community, I left Destiny's community because I was giving a bad example for you by staying. Yeah, I think that it falls in line with the other things that he has said, but he didn't say, uh, I'm leaving for Lav at any point. He said that he doesn't think it's right to the other orbiters uh, if he stays and you just unban him if, without setting the rule. Okay. I think that's what he said to you before he left. Is that is that an appropriate paraphrase? Um, it could be, but in the context of that conversation where Lav is like emotional and breaking down, almost crying, asking, is this real? Yeah, I do think that it was a little bit manipulative, but I think it's the kind that most people entertain when they're talking to somebody at like an intimate level. Okay, well, he didn't give any indication of that like anywhere else for, in relation to Lav, but... Um, there was that point. Okay, so let me tell you. Here, here, here this is another. This is another uh, cute one. Okay, um, there was a. Uh, so here's a tactic. I don't know if you're familiar with this or not. Okay, but like, <clears throat> these get into like. Set, I don't know if like. I only know this because I used to be an abusive person. I don't know if non-abusers like understand <laughs> this stuff or not. I'm being serious. Okay? Well, if it makes you feel better, when I was younger, I was a shitty guy, cool. and uh, okay. I often didn't have anywhere to stay, and I was a pretty shitty person too. Sure. Uh, so here's a sample. Really here's a sample conversation that I might have with. Um, let's say I've got. Let's say I want to go over to a girl's house. Okay. I want to go over to a girl's house and I'm trying to sell this idea to my girlfriend, but obviously I'm trying to cheat on her, and I know that she's not going to fucking let me go. Okay. So. 
One, th one like tactic is to get them to make the choice once you've pushed them far enough on it. But, to, but so, mm -hmm. so here's how this conversation might play out. I might say, hey, listen, um, Becky is feeling really sad tonight because her fucking parents died. Both of them died in a car accident, okay? And your girlfriend's like, oh, wow, that's horrible. And I'm like, yeah, I kind of want to go over because like she really needs a friend and I feel like really <laughs> bad and I want to just like console her. And your girlfriend's like, um, yeah, I and mean, I like, you didn't you, blah, okay blah, blah. And you're like, well, yeah, but like, I don't think I should. I feel like, because I, I think it's disrespectful to you. I don't think I should. And they're like, well, no, I mean, like you said their parents and you're like, no, I don't know. Like it feels, it feels like I, yeah, it feels like I shouldn't. I'm sorry. No, I shouldn't have even brought this up. Like, I, I don't think I want to go. And then eventually you're in a way, because you've already pushed them over that, the hump of getting them to accept it. And now when you try to pull back, they're like chasing you down. It's their idea. Yeah. yeah. You want them to tell you that you should go. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. like they're going to be worried on her behalf. So and, you're actually yeah. doing your girlfriend a favor. Exactly. By going yes, over yes, and yes. fucking this yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Super classic so manipulator tactic. Her ultra effective yeah. and the reason why this one is so effective is because if later on they accused you of some tomfoolery you can say you literally told me to do it i i, I actually made said me I don't go want to. yeah um yeah mr girl did this exactly a plus perfectly with lav when he pushed her up to the point of like you need to leave that community you need to leave that community you have to get out of that community you got to get out. i left so you can leave i left so you can leave and then as soon as she was obviously going to say yes he came back with tears in his eyes and he was like but you don't have to leave. It was like, it was one of the most classic manipulator things. And obviously she continued to push on. She's like, no, no, I think I'll leave. I'm not gonna go back. We can watch, by the way, we can watch this whole conversation if you want. I think it's a masterclass in I'm manipulating actually, like a vulnerable wow. person. But like, I don't see how you can't see stuff like that. And you're like, Jesus Christ, this guy's like playing the fuck out of her. And then like to go from that to like, I wanna adopt you. I wanna meet you in real life. We should meet sometime. Like to to, be, to, to start pushing for personal interactions like that when the person is already severely emotionally compromised and they just lost a lot of friends. Um, th so those are a couple things. And then one more example I'll give you. Sorry, I'm, I'm stockpiling them. You can write that down, you can go through all these. But one more that I'll give you, just so okay. I don't forget it, um, was when Lav was having extreme doubts and, and was feeling mindfuck personally. And then Mr. Girl said to Lav, listen, I understand that you're very stressed right now. Maybe you should talk to Shaylin and she can help you. Like. And you can ask Lav, she'll never say, she'll never talk about this again. But you can ask Lav, like, I've never told her, like, oh my God, are you, like, having trouble? Like, go talk to Melina, go talk to my friends. Go, like, I've always said, oh, go talk to who you need to, figure shit out, talk to Max if you want, blah, 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 blah. But, like, him redirecting her to his fucking girlfriend? What a weird fucking statement. How manipulative. <laughs> um, the, the, the Mr. Girl and Lav interactions, the very recent ones that I started seeing those past, like, day or two, those are the ones that are like, holy shit, that is hardcore manipulation. Um, but that was, yeah, that was, that's, that's how I felt. And then you go ahead, you can talk around any of these things. Um, so I, I avoided a lot of things on lab because, uh, I, I was set to talk to lab and I, I talked to lab and I didn't want to have a bunch of, uh, shit in my head about her before I spoke to her. Um, but I, I haven't seen that. Um, I'm sure that, uh, somebody in the near future is going to send me this video cause they're going to hear this and tell me I have to watch it. Um, yeah, that might paint how I feel then. Cause I haven't seen that. You haven't seen, um, wait, you haven't seen that video of him talking to her? No, like I said, I was trying to avoid watching anything about Lav because oh, everybody shit. has super strong feelings about her. Yeah, I understand, I was, but like you I should just, you should watch from a neutral point of view of like how like a manipulator, abusey dynamic works. If anybody has a video and can timestamp it, we can watch like two minutes of it. It's, it's, it's wild to me to watch it happen on stream. He does it on stream, that's wild to me. Or um, actually I can ask you from another point of view. I'm just curious what you think. Um, I think I asked Alaska about this. I'm gonna send you a DM. We can watch this one together, okay? Um, I think that, and this this goes with the manipulator and narcissism thing. The fact that he would publicly, confidently state this shows his narcissism, and what Mr. he's Roy. talking about shows his manipulativeness. But tell me when you're ready to start, and then we can watch this together. Uh, yep, one second. I'm gonna put it up on my screen too. I'm unable to. Uh, I can't see it. Uh, it. Cherry, it's from Cherry. She might have blocked you. You might have to oh, open yeah, it. Oh yeah, she. Yeah, she blocked me uh, after. Uh, after having a bunch of positive interactions with me, I think just because uh, I do Mr. Girl content, I think that's what uh, set it off. That was a pretty big bummer. Uh, hmm, let's see. This was, if you could just tell me the timestamp, I'm sure I can look up this. Uh, oh, wait. No, no, just open I'm it just, in incognito mode. Oh, uh, yeah, I can actually just watch it from uh, from the link here. Yeah, that's what I like. In Discord. To oh, okay, over that. Okay. Gotcha. Let me know when you're ready, okay? I, I, uh, the whole thing, right? I'm not starting yeah, it's any. It's just like a minute. Yeah, it's a minute video. Ready? 
Okay, yeah, you got it. Three, uh, two. Wait, actually play it. It might play it for me. Is it? Do you want me to, I can just. Do you want me to share my screen? Oh no 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 no. Okay, we're just gonna play it at the same time. Okay, ready? Three. Okay. Two. Yep. One. Go. Mr. Girl, I think Destiny's strongest argument against you is that you're manipulating people behind the scenes. Okay. Not necessarily that you're merely investigating. I agree. Okay, stop. Hold on. What happened? What's wrong? Yeah, I buffered. Oh, you there can't full go. screen it on through Discord, Twitter, embeds. It'll like fuck it up. But oh, gotcha. Okay, all right. I'll start over. Uh, you go ahead and count down. Three, two, one, go. Mr. Girl, I think Destiny's strongest argument against you is that you're manipulating people behind the scenes. Not necessarily that you're merely investigating. I agree. I'll just, that the I'll just watch it. It's weird, stream. but not that. Is it okay? Yeah. It's, okay. it's it's still fucking up. Gotcha. Let me know when you're ready for me to start it. Go for it. Okay. Three, two, one. Or I don't know why I'm counting down. I'm just playing it. Mr. Girl, I think Destiny's strongest argument against you is that you're manipulating people behind the scenes. Not necessarily that you're merely investigating. I agree that the Anna sex thing is weird, but not that bad. So I think the manipulation of Anna and other women by you is what you should comment on. Okay. Um, I don't know what manipulation you're talking about. With Anna, I said, listen, uh, Lav just said that you've been sexting with Steven for a year. She has triggered a nuclear attack. Steven is about to attack us. And I need you to give me proof of that. I need you to give me proof. Because without proof, he can discredit us. But you, you, Anna, you are the weapon that Stephen uses to discredit women. No one wants to be an Anna. If you take that away from him and say, actually, he's been lying about Anna this entire time, then, then he can't do this anymore. It puts a stop to it. So I said, please give me a screenshot. I know this is scary. She said, can you do it without the screenshot? And I was like, I don't think so. I need the screenshot. We need to come forward. We need to do this right. We need to back up Lav, because Lav has made a claim, and now we need to give her evidence to back up that claim, or else she is going to get fucking dogpiled, and I don't want to watch this happen to her. I don't want to watch it happen to you. I don't want to watch it happen to anybody. I want this to stop. So if that's manipulation, then sure. But I, I don't think it is. Okay. Uh, it ended for me. How is that not like textbook? Like you have to share this piece of private information that you're not comfortable sharing literally right now or everything is like going to fall apart. He's going to attack you. I never gave any indication ever that I was going to attack Anna over anything. Um, like I, I don't understand how you can't view something like this as like it's textbook manipulation. Um, I do think that it's manipulative, but I don't think that it's... Um inherently known to him that he's being manipulative when doing it what does if that matter he, well i think that i think that what that, you're saying by the way i actually might agree with that um i generally say that like i don't I think that like people yeah i don't think people know necessarily they're not like cognitive of them being um like i'm being manipulative it's just how they control people but like that doesn't change the fact that it is well i mean if you're if you're invested like he is and he's worried about anna and lav that might be something that he would say naturally yeah but but what he's saying is like he's taking somebody that is like obviously very uncomfortable with what's going on. And now we know that this beg came at the end of a three hour conversation where Anna clearly did not want like any of this stuff being leaked or going public. Right. All of this has just caused more like trauma and shit for her. Right. She doesn't want to talk about any of this shit publicly anymore. Um, and he's doing that on what are actually false claims uh, that I'm going to go nuclear on Anna. I've never, like, in the past year, I'm going nuclear on fucking Anna. Like, I don't talk about her. Like, that's, like, my policy on stream. I don't even allow posts about it. I've deleted, like, almost everything on my channel relating to her. So he's, like, he's making her feel threatened that Destiny's coming for you, which is not true, um, to defend a friend who he's saying is making a, a claim against me. Um, and he's saying he needs a screenshot to do it. He didn't need any screenshots. Do you think I was going to fucking deny it? Like, how fucking stupid would I have to be for him to come at me and say, like, are you, do you have sexual relationships with, like, Anna still? Like, do you think I'm going to say no? <laughs> like, what? And then, like, she releases logs and my credibility is completely destroyed? He didn't even need <clears throat> those logs. But I'm, I'm sorry, but just, like, to wrap around, like, he's clearly being manipulative here and he thinks he's not at all. So, like... Um, sure, I do think that it's one of those things, like I mentioned earlier, that's one of the things that I try really hard not to do. Because I think you can be manipulative without trying to be. Sure, but like this is like, but okay, so like between this and Lav, like holy shit. Um, do you think it's at all possible? Now, like I said, I haven't watched a whole lot of stuff on Lav. I've even only watched like half of the documentary. But um, a lot of things that people have said to me has kind of uh, 
made me think in this direction, and I think you'd be a great person to ask. You're the first person I've asked this to because I really don't like to comment a lot about uh, Lav or Anna's like uh, mental state or motivations. I think it's really uh, it's kind of cringy to do that. But um, <clears throat> since I have you here, do you think it's at all possible that Lav has uh, manipulated him into uh, thinking things are worse than they are, or and uh, pushed um, him into this direction at all? Because this happened from a Lav conversation, mm -hmm. then to Anna, and then to all this. Do you think it's all possible that because he felt really bad from excising her from the community, and then found out that like uh, he shouldn't have, that he misunderstood something, and he brought her back in, so he feels very bad about how he treated her. Uh, gave her space to talk and they talked and became closer and is going to be really susceptible to things that she says. Yeah, I like I consider that, that he could have been Yeah, I consider that a little bit, but he's too smart for that. He's he he should know better. He's he's he what is he? Is it something he's thirty nine years old, is that correct? Uh he is I think he's thirty seven or thirty he's not thirty nine. Okay. Thirty six he's old enough. Like he's got enough experience in like these types of conversations. Shit, he, man, I've been manipulated by women that I wasn't dating. Come on. Well uh, like you haven't in your 30s it's, ever been manipulated by her a woman? story is so weak <clears throat> like if her story to him was that like i raped but we don't her know what she said to him no 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 no. we do we don't know what we do. no 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 we do okay we do we we know that she didn't say i like raped her right correct so like her story and everything was like so like on air like just the flimsiest of a types of accusations that like that that wasn't enough like, if she had gone to him, like, let's say that I find out later that he sends me a message, he's like, bro, Lav said that when you guys met, you fucking raped her. Like, at that point, I'm like, oh, shit. Like, I, at, now I understand Max's point of view 100%. Like, yeah, you should be going, like, pretty nuclear on me because, holy fuck, I'm fucking raping people, right? But if it's just, like, this shit, like, for him to, no, that's, it's, I don't think okay. he has an excuse to be manipulated here. No shot. Well, okay, hang on a minute, though. Go so, ahead. we know that he didn't, you said we know what he said. We know that he, we're, we're fairly safely assuming that she didn't say destiny uh raped me against my will but there's a Which lot of things most between rapists, them that but... could allow him to be well, i mean I'm sure sorry. i'm just uh, uh, she's not saying like when i was underage i met destiny and then we fucked and it was cool but oh, like sure. i was underage so it shouldn't have happened uh, -huh. uh so when she talks to him if she said something along the lines of uh destiny told me that he really likes doing like and says, says a bunch of stuff that perhaps isn't true um, do you think that he could have been manipulated by the fact that he clearly does uh, like and appreciate Lav? And if she says something to him, his brain is going to be like, in, like, I'm listening to you compassionately. And the things that she says, he's just going to accept and then use that to shape how he's thinking about things and the kind of motivations he might take. Uh, because I think it's not, I don't think that if, if you think that Mr. Grill doesn't like have a special place for Lav, uh, I think that it's... Uh, we're dealing with a whole nother magnitude of manipulation and like like 5D chess Hold playing. On. I, that, like, I don't think I even followed. To. I'm sorry. You, can you repeat that for me? I don't even think I followed. So, can okay. We, though, Do, yeah. Can we both agree that Mr. Grill has a special place for Lav? This um, seems to be the case, yeah? I don't know. Maybe. It's like a fellow victim, yeah. Uh, sure. They, they have, at least it seems to me and probably to most people, so I'm seeing if you, you think it too, that they have uh, some kind of special bond. Okay. Um, and if it's the case that she said things to him, um, that wait, why are we saying stop? True. Wait, what's happening? Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to demonstrate. Oh no, no, uh, no I'm sorry. My chat is like spamming over us. I don't know what happened. Sorry. Okay, go ahead. Oh, okay. So if she talked to him and framed things in a way that made you seem, uh, let's say, fifty times more terrible than you were, while you didn't rape her. Like you played like some super crazy mind games on her. Uh, then, it, then, then it's his responsibility. He needs like to do. He's too old for this. He's smart and he's old. He doesn't have an excuse to be like controlled that much by somebody that he's adopting as his daughter. There's just there's no excuse. That, that's my that's my point. If he's if he's saying like I'm adopting you as my daughter, he's gonna eat up everything she says. Okay, in that case, he's so negligent that I would feel the exact same way. Like that's you. That's ridiculous. Uh, okay. I, at least I understand where you're coming from. So no, uh, I mean, like, come on, like this I, guy, how, how, like, we really no, would I'm not let that slide. That's what happened. Well, sure, I, but I'm saying, like, even if that was that a possibility, like, that's so anything. pathetic. Like, dude, he's fucking like almost twice her okay. age. Like, that's insane. Okay, well, shit, man, I've been manipulated by a lot of people uh, <laughs> into thinking that I, like a friend was like a rapey person that you were gonna go make public accusations against. I haven't been to that position. 
Okay. Like, I've definitely, like, there have been times where, like, I believe shit that a girl said I maybe shouldn't have, but not enough to where it's, like, driving me to making, like, public accusations against somebody. That's, like, a... Well, it might lead you to, like, just look into something, yeah. And then if you saw something because you looked in the place where, like, you know something was going to get said. You're, the amount of, like, I mean, I guess I was doing this a while ago, but, like, your amount of charitability is, like, he can do no wrong, right? Like, you can, exp like, if you're going to be this, this charitable, is, you this can explain away almost everything. This is just something that I was considering and bouncing You're off saying that you're lying. Like that. I don't believe you. I think that this is, like, something you're heavily considering. Like, you think it's, like, a... What? No, I literally said I haven't talked to anybody oh, about okay. this. It's just something I've had in my head. Okay, fine. Okay, you're gotcha. The first person okay. I brought I'll, it to okay. I'll, I'll take you right over then. Okay. I expected you to have a, a better grasp on it than uh, anybody else. A everybody else that I talked to hates Slav so fucking much they can't say anything uh, outside of the uh, lens of like fire and fury if I mention her name. So uh, I figured if I brought it to you, uh, you're not going to do that because um, I just don't expect you to. I expect you to engage with me in good faith. I was just curious if you thought that that could be a possibility. I don't. I don't really have any reason to think that. But if you thought so, then maybe maybe there might be something to it. If you're saying no, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. Um. I think all this shit sucks. I think it's bad for everybody. Um, no. Why I, do you say I, that? Oh, God, never mind. Sorry. Because because I'm a Mr. Girl fan. And I'm I know. A but like fan. you guys that are just like oh like it's all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. The same on all sides. It's like the most brain dead take I didn't in the. Say it's not the same on all sides. Well, I know, I but just like, oh, it sucks uh, for everybody, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't know, it just drives me fucking crazy, but it's all good. I imagine why it would for you, because uh, you're on the brunt end of uh, a lot of accusation. A, ver a very large accusation. Um, I guess uh, an important thing to consider is that not everybody who's a big fan of Mr. Girl... Uh, necessarily thinks that anything I, I haven't I haven't even went out to anybody and said that uh, you're doing bad things wow and thanks I dude think pretty much every but well, <laughs> well hang on and so well, thank you my... so much that you aren't making public or private rape accusations on me I, pre I appreciate that thank you well what I was gonna say is I think that everybody knows me to be like the biggest mr. girl fan um, I think that what he said is that um, it may very well be the case that he puts out the article and says that there was nothing other than the Anna thing. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to express that not every Mr. Girl fan is uh, like out to get you, out to frame you as like some insane rapist monster. Uh, believe it or not, people that like and enjoy Mr. Girl's content can be completely rational, insane, which I think I am. Uh, I can entertain both sides of this, and I haven't uh, levied a single... I, I don't know. Have I have levied any criticism about at you other than I think that you changed really fast... Uh, your opinion about Mr. Grill uh, that seemed to happen like right after this. Um, and then I didn't argue back with you when you gave me a reasonable explanation. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I talked to a lot of other Mr. Grill fans that uh, think that, as you do, that Mr. Grill is doing what he's doing because he thinks it's right and not because um, some vendetta. I really hope that... Uh, you promote the idea that he's not doing this out of spite more because I'm not people, promoting uh, anything are... that would benefit or have any like no. pro, like I don't like. <clears throat> okay, well I hope you correct the idea if somebody brings it up that it's out of spite because you did with me, and um, like people who are big fans of yours have been doing some really crazy shit, uh, which I'm sure isn't that big of a priority to you, uh, but when uh, some of the stuff has gotten into uh, some really nasty things that get kind of scary that's not just going on online and uh like what i think at least um i would rather not say it i do not encourage anybody to like do it uh oh, okay i I'll, really I'll don't i don't it. i don't care yeah, I, you know I'll, you don't, don't even message you me i actually don't give a fuck. i like i would never okay. do anything to help or do anything relating to his reputation or anything i absolutely don't care when he's messaging ex-girlfriends i've had in 2016 implying that i'm like a sexual abuser i super don't give a fuck about like anything going on and i'm not going to carry any water or help him in any way so i should perform but well, sure uh i understand well i sent it to you anyways i see it and i super don't give a fuck because what he's done to me okay. is a million times worse so i yeah uh okay but um i i guess all i'm saying is that i don't know anybody who's uh freaking out that hard uh against you as far as i know if they are uh they'd boot him from the community Oh. Um, 
I hope that uh, all this goes over pretty smooth. I hope that, that literally nothing comes out. Uh, How can it all go over wait, really find. smooth? One of us has to be destroyed at the end of this. Um, well, what I hope happens is that uh, there is nothing to find. And he says that there was nothing to find and that uh, he makes the appropriate concessions if there's nothing to find. And But then what, where does he go from there? He, he's come out and like made public and private accusations that I have a manipulative, sexually abusive pattern with women. Uh, well, I said that I hope that the proper concessions are made. What, what possible proper concessions could be made? To, to make up um, for contacting multiple people in my private life. I don't know if anything can make up for anything. I don't, I don't know if anything can okay. make up so for anything. So in your mind, it's one of the things where it's like, well, if he comes out, he's like, oh, my bad, LOL. Like, it's all good at that point then, basically. That's what you're saying. Uh, it's all good. Well, I would imagine there'd be a little bit more humility involved. But, but essentially, yeah, uh, it would be all good. Uh, I don't know about it being all good. But I, I hope that nothing... Uh, Let me put it, this into more clear terms. Do. You'll say, wow, that's kind of a mistake, but I'm still like a big fan of you. That's what you would be like at the end of it. Say that, say that wow, that You'd was a big mistake. You'd say like, wow, that was a big mistake, but I'm still like a huge fan of you. I'm still like a fan of yours. It's okay to say um, yes. I understand. I just get my, that's where you guys are at, but that's cool. Uh, uh, that's also after, down. by the way, that at the end, that like, he, this was after him crying and shit about like Cherry and Stardust making the pube accusation at him. Like, do you think that, do you think their accusation was more serious or less serious than what he's accusing me of? Um. Really? I, well, I say you have on to its think, face, You really have to think uh, about that one? <laughs> well, I can explain why. I would say yeah, on I explain. I want to hear it. Serious, but um, I, I would say overall, I think that it would be much, much harder for your reputation to be hurt, uh, like his is, given the size of the audience and given the um, like how long you've been around. I think that it is. Uh, if it turned out that there was like thirty women that had something to say that would be damaging to you, and Mr. Grill came out with it, that it would probably hurt you overall less than if Cherry and Stardust thing was true. I think that the number of fans that wait, Mr. Grill wait, has, I'm sorry, and that the was... avenues that he has to stream, would be. Uh, I think that he would just be non-existent, whereas um, you would probably be able to survive pretty much any allegation outside of somebody saying like you outright raped them and then had evidence. You know that's so, not like, true. Sorry, just what you said is like backwards, <laughs> right? You know that. Um, well, I I don't like what's I gonna happen. That, like, see, what worse can even happen? No offense, but like, what can even happen to Max at this point? Nothing. He is. This Listen, is this is my this is the, the guy, thing he is uncancelable. Yeah, this is the issue. Nothing this is the scary though. thing for me is that Max has nothing to lose. Like he he's no friends in the in this space. He has no sponsors. He has no teams or affiliation. He's got nobody that will go to bat for him. Um, and he's not on like any major platform anymore. How, like he has literally nothing to lose. Like what what's the worst thing that could happen if like a credible rape acquisition came out? Like you're not getting banned from Rumble for that. Well, I was gonna say that. If he had a credible rape allegation against him, I wouldn't be his fan. And I know that a lot of other people that are wouldn't either. I don't. I not he'd, he'd sure. Lose, but. He'd lose a bigger part of his audience. Even even just this, uh, he's lost a lot of uh, support from his fans. Uh, just just uh, okay. Do you at think you that I would lose support if like a credible rape ac allegation came out about me? Like as much but, as but I, I talk I about said like barring barring somebody saying they actually that you actually raped them I, okay what if there happened, was a ton of that shit that like I was actually like I was actually like pressuring girls and shit behind the scenes to like join my stream and that I'd fuck them in exchange for shit like that um like you don't that think would that would you. be insanely like let's say that Lav had logs where she was like I know that like I'm annoying as fuck and everything on stream, but like, holy shit. Um, like, I wanna be on more. And let's say I was like, okay, listen, okay? If you suck my dick, I'll let you be on stream six times, okay? I'll give you that many That'd times. That'd be pretty bad. That'd be pretty that bad. would be, it, it would be like every single, now right now I get irritated because be like, oh, well, if a girl's gonna go on, oh, it's because they fucked you, but that's not true. You have no evidence of that. There's no reason, like, you shouldn't even believe that. That's insane. But if that, that log leaked, it would be over. Any woman that would come on my stream would actually be like, well, what the fuck? Like, is he like charging people in fucking blowjobs to get on stream? Like, it would be insane at that point. It would be wild, right? So I, this idea that, and now if a credible rape accusation- It's really wild since we didn't know about it yet. 
Sure, but like if a credible rape accusation came against him, I don't like he could just say like, oh, I didn't mean it or whatever. I, I don't know. I, I don't know that, that it's I wild to me that it. you think that wouldn't be like that. That like yeah, I have so much more to lose. <laughs> I have so much more to lose than he does. But yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's that's the way I consider that question is that you have a lot more to lose, which means if you lost ninety percent of it, you'd still have more than if he lost like fifty uh, percent or like yeah or sorry, you'd have more. You'd you'd lose. You still have more left if you lost ninety percent than if he lost ninety nine percent. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know how I'm, I'm fucking up the math here, but you know what I'm saying. But the, the worst thing that comes out against him uh, that makes him lose like a large part of his audience, he'd be like way more fucked over by that because he doesn't have as nearly as big of an audience as you. Okay. I think you, you losing 90% of your audience, you still have. If you're uh, just going by at the end of the day, who's going to make more money? Then I, I guess you're right, but like. Well, that's, that's what I... That's like saying, like, I, I Warren Buffett losing 95% of his net worth would be, like, better than you losing, like, 5% of your net worth because he's still going to be making more money than you at the end of the day. Like, yeah, that's how I took the question when you were asking me. You said, who... who what was, what was it's, it? It's more a question of who has more to lose. Uh, and I don't think he sure. has anything to lose, except for maybe a few more fans, although if you stick with him up to this point, you're probably going to keep sticking with him. That'd be my guess, but... Oh. Uh. <sighs> Sure. What a wild, what a wild ride. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, well, thanks for talking to me. I didn't, uh, wasn't trying to uh, twist your words around or trying to get you on anything. I just wanted to get a better understanding. Okay. Uh, I hope you think that I was being good faith. It seemed like you thought I wasn't a couple times, but I genuinely was trying to uh, just... No, I don't really think you're understand. being bad faith. You're just you're taking an annoying fence sitting position when I think there's a clear right or wrong on this, but you know, what are you gonna do? Um He's kind wait, of what do you think I was you're... fence sitting on? Yeah. That like mm -hmm. even if I was a rapist, the way that Mr. Girl has conducted himself is still clearly in the wrong. Wait, what? Even I if I that, was a rapist, the way that he's conducted himself is clearly in the wrong. Wait, I think that uh, if he thought any of these things were true, if, if what he says he believes is true, that he probably should do an investigation. I think that. Yeah, but the way that he's conducted himself has destroyed his credibility so much that if, if I did actually rape somebody, I'd probably get away with it if, if he was the one to come out and publicly accuse me. Oh, you think so? Yes. I, I guess I wouldn't have thought that. Well, I mean, like, how could I not? When I can say, like, well, look at him manipulating Anna. Look at him manipulating Lav. Look at him supporting Lav when she lied about Hassan. Like. Uh, yeah, that's why I think that what he said, if there was, like, 10 plus women, I think that then it would be, like, a thing. Which what if I he has, oh, you say, what if he has three women? Uh, I don't know. I think it's numbers game, to be honest. So now he needs even more numbers to overcome uh, well, have you not heard the? I, I like. Do you not like uh, follow any of the stuff? Like, do you follow any of the content that he's put out? Like, I feel like you'd have to to stay on top of this. Um, just what people link me. But what about it? Gotcha. Oh no, he, uh, just the messaging. How well, why? What's he saying? Uh, like that the DGG machine can handle like uh, like one or two things. Uh, but like maybe like there's a certain number of people if they came forward that like. It would then it would be like uh, substantial, and I think that's true. I think that um, that the community could write off like uh, like if everything that Lav said was true, and if like uh, Anna said more, and like there was and it was shown to be true, that DGG could probably bat that stuff off. Well, it's gonna uh, it's not gonna off. be it's not gonna be a numbers I, I, game. It's I'm gonna be a it's gonna be a credibility of the accusation game, right? Yeah. Like I could think of probably four women that could all come out and say shit, and people would be like, ah, okay, right? Like if he's relying on Anna's past stuff, and he gets like lav and denims or whatever, then it's like okay. And, and then we sure. could probably even think of like two or three more where it's like okay. <clears throat> but if one person came, like, like let's say Hafu responded was like, yeah, he actually was sexually appropriate. That's why we stopped playing games. It would only take one person, and it would be like people would be like fuck that, right? Like it would be over. Like one person alone that's credible would be like, yeah, this is fucked up. Or if Lily came out and said something, right? Or if Pokemon came out and said something, like it would be like okay, <laughs> yeah, no. I think I think Lily might be able to do it. Yeah. A a any of the people that I just mentioned would be like people would be like, oh, holy shit. Uh, yeah, well, okay. 
Pokemon probably has a bigger audience than you too. So no, it's not about audience. Would... It's about credibility and motivation. I, I mean, sure, but like audience would matter if they had a really big audience. They could like over, like they could like flood the narrative. Anywhere is being talked about. Why are you so? Th why do you use these lab terms? She started doing this, and you're, the whole community no picked idea. it up. I, you I guys are saying like the narrative, stuff. the narrative, the narrative. I'm not talking about the narrative. I'm just a basic assessment of credibility. Like we could probably think of some small creators that would have a ton of credibility as well. Um, uh, sure, I'm just saying that having a big audience would help if she came out and said that. Okay, I think it's completely irrelevant, but. Oh. Denims okay. has a big audience, right? She gets over a thousand viewers now on Twitch, I think. Like, she's like the third largest politics streamer on Twitch. It's like oh, Hassan, uh, Mike from PA, and then Denims. Oh, I didn't know Mike Good on Denims, was good job, big. Denims. That hurts a lot. Okay. Erudite is a really, is a, I don't wanna say really small, that's me, but Erudite is a fairly small streamer. She gets a couple hundred viewers. If she came out and said yeah. that I was sexually improper while she was over here spending the night in our fucking apartment or whatever, her Nick and me and Melina, if she said I did something improper, um, that would carry forward, even though she doesn't have like a huge audience. And a lot of our audience might be shared. If Jade is a boss, okay. I don't even know if she you streams anymore. Okay, yeah, sorry. You sold, okay. you sold me on that. Okay, uh, gotcha, all credibility, right. Credibility uh, absolutely matters. I think you're right. If Erudite said that, um, she, cause she is very, very credible. I don't think anybody, uh, like, I don't know if anybody that says, like, she's, like, a liar or that she, like, does anything uh, shady. Well, Max, Max doesn't like her, right? Nope. Yeah, but I like her. Uh, even he, Her and well, I are, said, like, uh, said friendly no, no on a personal one. level. What's that? Well, you were just saying that, like, no one has a problem with her. He, he just meant, like, in the community. Oh, like, just, in general, she's seen as, like, a trustworthy person. Yeah, I was speaking person. broadly. Yeah, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Can I ask you, why do you, um, do you think the reason Max is in this conflict is purely out of spite and proximity because it seems like kind of not a big not a good use of your time when there's other bigger fish that he could be frying if he cares about injustice um <clears throat> but if he doesn't care about injustice this seems more so like trying to take down steve you know no i don't i don't think it's about spite but i do think it has to do with proximity i think that um he's the kind of person that's got to see if the problem is within reach He's going to try to do something about it. Oh, well, there was kind of, a really kind of good like question that was asked thing. on the sub. I think on Mr. Girl's sub is uh, why doesn't he investigate Lav? Uh, I don't know. Probably too close to it, and he. Uh... But not too close to me, right? So she's got a history well, no, no, of no. making. I, I just, I just came off of a stream before I came here. I was supposed to go have another stream, and then a bunch of people were like flooding me and saying, "Go talk to Destiny." So I did. But um, I just had a conversation where I said that I think that he's not the best person to run this investigation because he calls himself a, an abuse victim as well. But he's in a position where nobody else is going to do it. So it was kind of like, well, there's nobody else, so I have to do it. There's nobody else that would investigate me? There's a uh, fucking million people that have hated me that have tried to make bullshit-ass fucking claims about shit that I've done or whatever. What? Okay, Keppel's called me a literal rapist on her stream. Of course he knows that. That's a cope excuse if he said that. That's literal cope. No, 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 no. That was that was what I, I said. I don't think that he's the best person to be running an investigation like this because he calls himself an abuse victim from you. No, I'm so just saying if I he said that he's that the only one that can do it, like no, there's no, no, tons he of people. No, didn't say that. Oh, okay. I'm saying that it would have to be something like that that would <laughs> have to be the justification for doing it yourself because... Mm -hmm. um, I think it's improper to run an investigation against somebody that you also think abused you. There's obviously a conflict of interest there. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, do you, wouldn't you agree? It seems like the most auto agree thing ever. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably agree then. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I think I don't have anything else to say. Uh, you good, Dan? <laughs> I'm curious what um, uh, what is the main dialogue that you're going to be giving to to him tonight? Um, I don't do what? that. Okay, well, is there something that you think he's done that you want to get an answer to to really understand, or do you already feel like he's in the? Oh right yeah, I have a, I have a bunch of I have a bunch of questions for him. And uh, Destiny, you wanted the question: what Why doesn't he investigate Lav? Right? No, that's a meme question. He'll just say. Um, his answer to that would either be something along the lines of like Lav has already removed herself from the internet or enough people have made hit piece videos about Lav that I don't need to investigate her. People know she's bad. They don't know that Destiny's bad. And DGG has the ability to abuse more people, whereas Lav's abuse is probably going to be incredibly limited, if anything at all now. That would probably be his response. I'm going to ask him anyway. Right. Uh, what I, are the questions I, that you have? Just so we're kind of, I'm curious what's going to be asked. 
Um, Where's the preview? I don't, I don't know if I want to spoil it or not. Let me see what I have here that's not going to be like too crazy. Well, no, give the give the good ones. Because uh, yeah, if it's a good question, well, it's there's not no just amount my of... stream. No, that's not what I'm saying. If it's a good question, no amount of preparation is really going to help him on that. Uh, so sure, I, I can give you one, uh, but then I don't want to give out any more because this doesn't seem like a good idea for me. Uh, Why? On the stream. Oh, because you think Max is going to prepare? Because this important to me. No, because this stream is important to me. I think it's really important that people that uh, have supported him ask him tough questions. That way people know that it's coming from a place of good faith, but we can also hold him to it because we respect him. Mm-hmm. And I just don't want to... I just don't want to fuck with the stream. This one's... Uh, I guess right, it just the, matters what's to the me. Tough, what's the toughest question that you got? Just give us that one. The toughest um, question. So, I can only read mine. Uh, several of mine are that I had would have been asked by other people. We have them all written down so we can see each other's. Mm-hmm. Um, What's your toughest question? Uh, for me, I think is uh, is it, it's been expressed to me by many people that uh, I've talked to lately that you had no way of protecting Anna. Uh, can you, without commenting on her mental health, explain to me how you had intended to protect Anna uh, from Destiny and DGG when she gave you that screenshot? That's like a weak question to me. I think it's a pretty it's a pretty important that's one. That's why I was, that's like I a think it's a very ball. important question. What's there that? is no there is no good answer for that. Like I, like the curiosity okay. would be like what the fuck is your concern for Anna at all, right? Like how 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 is well, any of your behavior what? Well, he's purported to have it. Yeah, but so like how is any is, of so his how, behavior how, could you how, have how is her? how is yeah, how is any of his behavior consistent with wanting to protect her, right? Like I wasn't publicly attacking her at all. She wasn't publicly part of the narrative of my stream at all. And then he dragged that out like front and center to everybody, right? If he ju- if he thought the only improper thing was just that we still had like um, some like illicit contact in DMs, why not just message me say like, "Hey, you should stop doing this or something." Like what did he think going public was going to do? Like is that like is that actually protecting her? Like that's in, that's an insane narrative. I don't know. Like, he said he said that he can protect her when he asked for that screenshot. Uh, he said I can protect. True, you. but he and actually. I want to know what he yeah. how he planned on yeah. doing that. I understand that's a question. He actually though he revealed his intentions in the accusation. Do you not think if he can't answer that that it's a good question? Oh it's a yeah, question. you can yeah you can ask a question. He, but he said that like he said that I was going to use her as a weapon, but I'm not. He was using her as a weapon. That's why he asked. But yeah, he'll, he'll, well, I'm curious what answer he would give to that. It'd be funny to see him try to explain how that helps. That and ask the blackmail. I really want him to explain the blackmail thing. That's really funny to me. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you wanna do you wanna lay that out for me? I can. Well, have you heard it? Him, Shaylin, and uh, fucking well, I know. Lav are anybody all that's asked me to ask a question. I've just said, can you formulate it as a question? So yeah. How could Destiny blackmail Lav with something that she'd already publicly leaked to other servers? Okay. And I know a couple people have uh, DM'd me too. You can DM me with questions. We we've been all three of us have been pretty uh, public about saying if you want a question asked, we'll ask it, and not just ask it too. We'll hold them to answering them. Wow. <sighs> cool. You got it. How about you, Dan? Anything? Oh my God, this fucking plan. I don't know, man. I just um. Yeah, I don't know why this is all happening. It seems like. Well, I mean, I, I kind of know why it's happening. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Do you think it's spite driven, Dan? Yeah, of course. I mean, but I would do it too for spite, for sure. Did you say you'd do it too? A hundred percent, I would do it. <laughs> why? You wouldn't? Okay. No. Wait, why would, would you do it? It doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know. I, I mean, like if you want to destroy someone. Oh. I don't know. I, mean, I don't think I've ever felt like that before. You don't feel like you've wanted to destroy someone? Are you? I just I think that there there would be so many better ways to do it. For you? If I if I was in Mr. Girl's position trying to destroy me, yeah, there are so many better ways to do it. Yeah, but like not many people know the. Uh, not that we want to talk about that now because there's a lot of yeah, intricacies there. Yeah, please list the things. No, no. I'm just saying like, sexually. Like, imagine if like he should tell Lav like, "Yo, you should like keep like keep coming on to Steven and see if he'll fuck you after all the drama." Like, there's a lot of angles like that where Shaylin could have hit on me. See if he'd like fuck you behind my back. Like, there are a lot of traps like that that he could have tried to set to see that if I would have, especially if he thinks I'm like a fucking sex obsessed fiend or whatever. There are so many different ways that like with any types of evidence like that that he could hit on me, or he could tell Anna like, "Hey, um, you should message Steven and say that you don't want to have those types of conversations anymore." more and see if he still pushes it uh, there are lots of ways like that, that he could have planted little seeds that if he could have caught me on any of those he could actually
completely destroy me. But he, he wasn't, he's not, th this is why I'm saying I don't think it's spite driven because he is smart. I think he actually thinks he's doing the right thing because if he was spite driven, there are so many better ways that he could have tried to, to like actually assault me, in my opinion. Yeah, but, I think I'd lose a lot of respect for him if he tried to like trick you or trap you. Why? Like I think that would have been, I would think that would have been perfectly fine. Like if uh, he if he if like he the... if he would tell Anna like hey listen you should tell Steven that like you don't want to have these conversations anymore and then see her response and let's say she says that and I'm like I don't give a fuck like bro like bitch I'll destroy you online if you stop talking to me blah 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 like yeah. that would be a really compelling piece of information that you could take public and be like yo Steven actually like fucks with people hard on his platform here's the proof like that would be compelling he's as fuck. against exactly that though. Yeah, that's because he's What's stupid, that? though. But I'm just saying that. Like, I'm just saying that he's not spite driven. Because if he's spite driven, there's a lot of things he could have tried that he didn't. I think that he genuinely believes he's on some fucking holy crusade. Well, I, I I agree with you that I don't think it's spite driven. I guess you got to take that one up with Dan. Oh yeah, sure. Well, well maybe spite's the wrong thing. Um, I think that if they're on good terms, and that if um, let me give you a better example. When I say spite, so if Destiny had never had an issue with Max when it came to his Reddit. Uh, and they were kind of on good terms and friends. And then Anna reached out to Max. I don't think this would be happening. I think so that's pretty I, true. Yeah. I, yeah. So that, that is, that's spite. They're fighting. <sighs> yeah. And because of that, he turned this into a bigger deal. I, maybe I shouldn't say it's like not spite or it is spite. Like, I think that our negative interactions are definitely shading or were a big, were an inciting factor. I'll say that. But I, I don't think <clears> it's holding right now. It's like, I'm going to fuck Destiny over. But I think initially it was like, fuck, I hate Destiny. And then something popped up and he's like, oh my God, this is like congruent with how much I hate Destiny now. And then that's like the driving force. That would be like how, yeah. I think that it's when you have a uh, strong, falling out with somebody you're not able to see them through rose colored glasses and when somebody says something negative if they've been saying it for a while and you blow them off you're going to be less likely to blow them off and listen to them uh I just guess. sort of that kind of a thing maybe but i guess maybe i'm the only person that's had that kind of interaction where you're willing to write things off because you know somebody and then see like maybe i shouldn't have written that's not, it off. that is not a fair thing to do okay if you used one bad word here do you think that it would be fair for me to start an investigation into you, like talking to no. everyone, being like, okay, so you agree that a much bigger deal can be made out of something that in some cases would just be overlooked or whatever. Like, oh, uh, Steve sexting with Anna, what a fucking weirdo that he's still doing that offer all the shit and letting that go there versus turning it into something more. Do you think that I could do that with you, with like you saying a bad word or something else and then I start calling up everyone you've been with or something? I don't think I'm... Uh, suggesting anything that Destiny didn't suggest uh, in how he uh, switched his perspective on Mr. Girl. Um, and then that recolored a bunch of different uh, interactions that they had in ways that he views him moving forward. Which I Yeah, but I'm not reaching out to like way. Max's fucking oh, past. Well, I'm not saying that. I, I was just strictly speaking within the confides of which I, the example that I gave that um, sometimes it's easy to overlook things that might bother you internally. Um, when you're close with somebody and then if you think if you see them in a different light you might revisit some of those things which is exactly what you said to me I yeah. am all for it I think that you know there's this thing on the internet now where we can't tell each other to like kill yourself because it's bad <laughs> right because you, you can't do that now because you know there's people who want to commit suicide and we don't want to hurt those people but in general if you're my enemy I don't want you to get better and get rehabilitated and, you know, come to my side. I just want you to get Thanos snapped out of the fucking universe. And if you fall down the stairs today and step on a Lego and break your back and you're paraplegic for the rest of your life, I'm actually pretty happy. That's that's good. That's a good day. I like that. Yeah, and actually, so, like, here's a question, especially knowing the type of person Mr. Girl is. Isn't this the perfect type of con uncomfortable conversation that he feels like he would be able to have? You confronting a friend about improper sexual behavior? Like, isn't that something where he should even was like, hey, listen, we should talk about this. I think that you're, like, making a big mistake here. Rather so than, wait, like, doing I, all the weird, sneaky, behind-the-scenes shit. No, I think that um, if you think that somebody's doing something like sexual misconduct, uh, I think that it's really unwise to go to them first. I think it's a good idea to do things in the background, collect what you can, and then, then come to them and say, hey, look, this is, these are the things that I've... Uh, uh, have been said to me can you explain these and then go public with it after if they can't explain them away if they can explain them to you and it makes sense to go okay thank god uh you you're the same uh caliber of person that i thought you were i don't think that you should uh do it publicly to where the person who is in question 
uh, can run interference for themselves. I think that would be really, really fucking stupid. Don't you think if you were going to do that, then you're like, well, I guess you do agree, and this is what your question be about. Like, there's a way better way to ask people these <clears throat> questions than, hey, uh, Destiny abused me. A lot of victims are coming forward. Do you want to comment? <laughs> Yeah, so the stream I just had, too, the criticism the other person had just seemed like uh, Mr. Girl is running this investigation, and I think that he's made some missteps along the way. Like, he hasn't operated this perfectly, and I would agree. But I also agree that um, it should have been somebody else who didn't consider themselves an abuse victim, too. Can so I, I think that you know, if you are, you're going to make some pretty big missteps. Here, here's another involved. reason... I I want to put this out there. A reason I might be feeling this is more to punish Destiny than anything else is if I was trying to do something on Destiny, if I was trying to get an investigation going and, and do this, I would reach out to people and I would be like, hey, I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm writing something about Steven. Um, you know, we're talking to a lot of people from his past. Would you be willing to talk to me? And I wouldn't say anything like, I'm an abuse victim, I'm X, I'm Y, I'm Z, because I know that a lot of people would be like, oh, holy shit, let me message. Especially, imagine that someone like Hafu was an abuse victim, right? And they were afraid that Steve was going to go and destroy their career if she stopped being with him or something like Thanks. that. Wouldn't the first thing that Hafu would do in that case be like, oh, oh Steve, <laughs> uh, this guy messaged me, I sent it to you, but you won't do anything, right? Like, it doesn't even make sense. Like, if I don't it's know a if true abuse situation like you would want to get as much conversation from people by being like hey i just want to chat about steve i'm doing a piece on him and then people would be like they would go and talk to him and then you would get it out of that but it's not that's not really the goal it seems yeah. like it seems like the goal is hey uh i was raped by steven were you raped too a lot of us were you know or i, mm -hmm. I don't know it's not to that level but that's kind of my yeah i don't know if I dan is aware of this but there's literally like a set of like practices for these types of things that are like exactly detail this that like you would never reach out to someone who's like hey um john raped a lot of people just seeing if he raped you too do you want to respond to this email if he was a raper like that's essentially what he's doing like nobody do conducts investigations like for a variety of reasons part a few of which dan just gave um sure i do think like i said i do think that he's not uh like being perfect with it, I do think that it should have been somebody who didn't consider yeah, themselves gotta, to be okay, an abuse okay. victim. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't. I don't necessarily disagree. Um, the wording was pretty strong by Dan, but uh, I don't. What wording? Wait, what, disagree. what wording? We can read the uh, messages, I guess. I, and by the way, I'm only passionate about this because, um, first of all, uh, I want to be clear. I think the shit with Anna is omega cringe, and I 100% wanted him to completely cut off contact a long time, and he knows that, and he disagrees. I, know, I, and, I saw. I, 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 it's not like a meme, like, oh, I, I enjoy it and it's funny. No, I 100% want him to stop talking with her. And I think it's a sad, pathetic. He is thing. obsessed, though. Him serious. and Tabor uh, literally uh, 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 wait, 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 let's, con let, let's continue. So Dan's talking about Anna more said, than I've talked to Anna. But go ahead. I, I see, like, a situation right now where it's like, I don't, I don't know how you turn this into, like, this is, like, destroying or, or possibly, like, just asking the question. You, I'm sure you've heard the phrase, like, a lie gets halfway around the world before truth gets its pants on. Like, even if at the end of this shit, it comes out like, oh, yeah, well, it was just Anna and Lav and uh, pretty strong stuff. Even if that was the case, or even if that wasn't the case, it doesn't matter. Like, how many people now are going to forever add this into the dossier of the anti Steven shit to completely further uh, fuck him over anything he wants to do in the future? And the funny thing about it is, Mr. Girl literally said exactly that. He said, even if it's not true, pri oh, actually, I don't know if there's no strength. This might have been a private conversation. I, I don't remember if he said this privately or publicly. You guys told me if he said it publicly. He said, before, he, when we were talking about it, he said, before there were zero accusations against me, and now there's one. Even if it's false, like I'd never had an accusation like that, and now there's one that's always going to be hanging out there. Like he literally said exactly that. Um, somebody can I, apparently that was a public conversation. Yeah. So it's funny that he would say that and then conduct himself like this. That's pretty funny, I think. Good memes. Wait, what do you mean? Like he is aware of like the damage of like making an accusation like this, but he is doing it himself with less evidence and and more severity to the claims. Um. Sure. Yeah, but but we'll see. I could be wrong. Maybe by the end he's gonna have those fifteen women that he keeps telling everybody are ready to come forward. And you know what? I'll just be like, you know what, guys? We're changing our name to rape.gg. He's right. I do also think that the the framing and suggesting, uh, I do think it's a little suggestive that there are like a, a bunch of women 
Well, uh, oh, no, 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 not suggested. He's explicitly, suggested. he's explicitly said that. He's explicitly told multiple people privately that there are 15 plus people ready to come forward. I've never, oh, you said he said that privately? Yes, other women have told me that he said that while talking to them, that there are 15 plus victims ready to come forward, but he needs a few more. <clears throat> Man, how oh, fucking never, bad never am I going to feel when it comes out? <laughs> and that I am Steve a raper. Fucking, yeah. Oh my God, I'm going to have to do a full 180 at that point. <laughs> True. Oh my God. I will do. I will. I will throw you in the mud, Steve. If okay. it comes out with proof that you're a raper, yeah. I have to stick you know, to my guns. I'm yeah. sorry. You got permission. Christ. I'll, right, I'll allow it. <laughs> it's not good, but you know what are we gonna do? We didn't know. We thought he was joking about all the raping. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. Then all those rape jokes retroactively, you're gonna feel pretty fucking weird about laughing. So. Oh boy. Well. Anyways, that's it. Um, as a fan, you're in a tough spot. But remember that part of what Max really prides himself on a lot is that he wants to be very introspective. And he says he wants the tough questions asked to him. So do not let okay. your fan status take away from asking things that need to be asked. And also, if you get an answer that's unsatisfactory, you owe it to yourself to ask follow-up clarification questions and not let it go out. Uh, out of fear that you'll upset him. You really need That's to go in there. That's very much the purpose of tonight. Okay, but a lot of, I, so you say that, but a lot of people, when they talk to someone <clears throat> that they're a fan of or psychophantic of, not that I'm saying that's the case here, but when they do that, they'll ask the question, and even if it's a tough question, it's mu very easy to give the content creator an out with a weasel answer and not be like, wait, what are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I just uploaded a video like two days ago of me arguing with him about ADHD because I thought he was wholly irresponsible and I fought with him on Twitter about it then I fought with him on his stream about it. Hardcore. Um, okay. I think We're going to see tonight. Fine. We'll see how hardcore you are. Okay. You know what, Dan? If you think that I pussied out and I didn't hold his feet to the fire, uh, feel free to uh, give me a call. Let me know what a little bitch I am. Nice. Well, I wouldn't do it like that. Just, you know. Well, This I, is a I man's life it. is on I the line right now. It. A man's life is on the line now. And for what? Some innocent sexts with a slightly interesting well, hang on, individual? Hang on, I don't, okay, uh, cool. To be clear, I don't think Anna is uh, anything that Dan just said. Wait, you don't, you don't think she's interesting? You said I, you were implying she, I, something malicious. I said she and was I don't an interesting believe those individual. Things. So she's not interesting. Got it. Oh, she's man. not. Easy. I know what you're implying, Dan. <laughs> I, uh, I okay, refuse that's to my queen, and I won't let anyone disrespect her. Okay, fuck you, Dan. Okay, anyway, sorry. What? Oh, okay. Good uh, luck, buddy. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, I just got a message and somebody asked me to ask you oh. uh, if you hate me. Um, You seem not as dumb as the last guy, but you're below the 50% threshold. I'll put you at 41% right now. Christ. Yeah. 40, uh, two, I'd, give, I'd give it higher than that. I feel like tonight, based on what we see, yeah, you, could be, you could be pushing... You could be pushing double digits up. You're at 40. That's on you. You're at 42 right now. But I'm being a lot less charitable towards people now that I've gotten supremely fucked by uh, Lav and Mr. Girl. So you got to work harder okay, to earn well, my trust. Um, but don't worry. You know, you can do it. It's not impossible. You're still here. Okay. For now. All right. Uh, well, uh, Destiny Dan, thanks. Uh, also, wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Your wallpaper that you have, because your yeah. chat can't see this, but we can. So right now, you have a big. You have horses as your wallpaper. You're sharing your desktop. Uh -oh. and it says unbanned Mr. Girl. That's too much. Okay. I understand that you like this guy. You need to live your own life. Do not um, be this. Stop. No. It's okay. not healthy. It wouldn't be healthy for Steve. It's not healthy for you to live through someone this much. You have more to offer yourself. You know, it's content. It's enjoyment. It's nice to relax, be a moderator, be part of community. But that's too much. Okay. He's have him as a wallpaper? Yeah. Yeah, my much. wallpaper says YouTube unbanned Mr. Girl because I made a video about him being banned and I thought it wouldn't take this long, but I said that I'd keep it up until he got unbanned from YouTube. Okay. Or at least until we get a definitive answer. And uh, a man's only as good as his word, Dan. True. Okay, let me tell you something right now. If he never gets unbanned, can we both be, agree that you're not going to have this wallpaper? You're not going to be like 65 well, years old? I said old if we get a, I said on if we get a definitive 35. answer. On what? Yeah. Uh, if oh, I you're not going to get that yeah. either. Well, if everything stays the same, you think you're going to be 65 years old with YouTube unbanned Mr. Girl wallpaper? Of course not. Uh, so, so the morals will compromise at some point. Um, sure. I think there's going to be a certain point where I understand that it's not going to happen and it will come down. Yes. Okay. Uh, and I, and I hope that people that heard me say that 
understand that there's an implication that I'm not retarded and I can understand this. Okay, good. That's an important thing to do. Too many people are, you can't be black and white with morals and all this type of stuff. That's a fluid social construct. I'm pretty construct. strict with them, but I'm also nah. not fucking stupid. Well, so. you got to tell that to Max. He said he wouldn't kill Hitler. Or sorry, he wouldn't mind rape Hitler. Ask him why. Uh, why wouldn't you mind rape Hitler? All right, you guys are, you guys got quite a few questions on here, but I'll, I'll do it. All right. Take care, you guys. I got I got some shit to prepare for here. Uh, have a great night. Be careful. Thanks, you too. Stay safe. <laughs> okay.